Hey, you guys, we're back with more Skies of Arcadia. I'm way back, guys. This is Fantasy Friday. We're playing Skies of Arcadia, the Dreamcast version of the game. Uh, so we're going to go to Deep Sky now. So not sure if there's anything else I need to actually do here at Crescent Isle. So let's just leave. I think we got to go back to our ship this way. So yeah, last we left off, we've collected almost all the moon crystals we got uh what we got the red moon crystal the green moon crystal the yellow moon crystal the blue and the purple moon crystal so the last one we need is the silver moon crystal which should be back at the moon shrine which is uh, apparently where fina lives uh but the only way to get there because it's so high up in the clouds and apparently our blue moon crystal engine for our ship can't get us high enough we need fina's ship which sank near Pirate Isle at the beginning of the game, if you guys remember. I don't know. Ooh, here we go. Uh, so we probably need to go back somewhere around Pirate Isle and go below the clouds in the deep sky. There's Gilder. Hey, Vice. Thanks for the food yesterday. It was delicious. Oh, Gilder, you're leaving already? Yeah, I need to get going. But before I go, I have some news for you. I found out some information on the Armada's latest project. I just heard about the other day. It appears that Valua has begun advancing into the lower altitudes. I heard that north of Pirate Isle, somewhere beneath the clouds, they're building a base on Dangrel Island. Oh, whew. all right, there we go, guys. We're going to Dangrel Island. Okay, cute. Uh, so yeah, it is somewhere near Pirate Isle, as I figured. Uh, it's just a rumor, but I heard that they're building a ship that can go into deep sky. Oh no. Oh no. Deep sky! Yeah, we can go into deep sky, I think. Uh, yes, beneath the thick layer of clouds, immense in total darkness, there is a bottom of the world. No one has ever seen what's below the clouds. Some people say that it's completely dead. Oh, okay, I thought we'd been down there. Maybe not. I guess this is deeper than we've gone before. Uh, what could they be looking for down there, says Vice? I don't know, but Fina's ship sank beneath the clouds, right? Hmm, you're right. Uh, that must be what they're after. Thanks, Gilder. We'll go check it out. Is he gonna come with us? It'd be awesome if he came with us. Uh, you don't need to thank me. Good luck, Vice. Oh, great. Okay, so he's not coming with us. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. Okay, he's not with us, right? Okay, he's not with us. Okay. So I guess we're... I don't know if we're going to be stuck with these characters for the rest of the game. I don't know. Uh, Fina, Fina, Aika, and um, Enrique. Uh, return to your ship. Yeah, let's do that, guys. So we need to go to Pirate Isle. We need to go to Pirate Isle, guys. Uh, which was the beginning of the game, basically. So if I take a look at the map here... Okay, so uh, Pirate Isle, that was the that was like the hometown of Vice and Ica, I guess. Uh, and uh, Shrine Isle was the first dungeon we went to. So somewhere north of Pirate Isle, it sounds like we need to go, and we need to go below the clouds there. So we'll just start heading that way. It looks like we're already pointed the right direction. So, okay, let's go. Uh, if I go above the clouds, guys, I can just go above the clouds here. I could also go below the clouds. I can avoid the um, random enemy encounter, so I'll just do that because... Uh, <laughs> the enemies are too weak for me. They don't really get me. Oh, there's a there's some sort of a thing here. What is this? The floating island way up here. What is this? Oh no, this is just uh the top of the um the cliffside there for Nassar, Kingdom of Nassar, which got destroyed by Valua. We're going. We're flying right over the sky rift, guys. Pretty cool. And yeah, we're kind of just we can just bypass everything now. It's pretty cool. Uh, so deep sky. I don't know. I don't know if the Delphinus can go into deep sky. I know it can go below the clouds into a dark area, which I thought was deep sky, but I do do. Um, where are we now, guys, on the map? All right, so we're right here. So I'm just pretty much going to keep going straight, and then I guess just drop down right about there. So let's do that. Uh, we must be near... It says there's a silver moon rising in the sky, so I guess the silver moon crystal is going to be... I guess Fina's hometown is somewhere nearby but it's above the clouds it's like super high up apparently oh there's a actually we can look down guys there's an island down there i don't know if that's what they were talking about probably not i think we need to go even deeper than that let's go this way we're gonna drop down here in a moment though in a moment i think we've gone just about far enough uh let's take a look at the map again all right so i'm guessing we just gotta drop down here so let's drop down guys we're gonna go down below the clouds. I hear some sort of music. Okay, so this is, is this not deep sky? I thought we were in, I thought this was in deep sky. I don't know. Oh, there's something right there. Ooh, new. No. Oh, there's stuff down here, guys. Looks like there's a little tiny something right here. What is this? 
Oh, cool! It's a discovery. You found the flying machine. All right, cute. Uh, the flying machine, an odd-looking ship whose origins remain a complete mystery. The fluid design and strange metals used in the hull have led to theories of a ship built on another world. And some even go so far as to say that it traveled through areas without air. <laughs> it's like a regular um, canoe, right? Regular boat. Okay, so yeah, I've actually kind of missed some of the... That's, that might be Pirate Isle up there. Is that Pirate Isle? Oh, that's Shrine Island up there. Um, I haven't really done a lot of exploring down in this area, which I, I guess is deep sky. <gasps> Ooh, there's a vortex or something going on right there, guys. Uh, maybe we need to go through that. I don't know. What is this? Is this anything important? Yeah, so we needed just a few more discoveries. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me see. Let me get out of this. I, wanted, I needed, like, uh, like a few more discoveries, and then I could go talk to Domingo and get him as a crew member, I think. So, uh, wait a minute. Next page. The journal? Yeah, discoveries. Okay. Oh, it doesn't say how many discoveries I have. I'll have to count them up. Eh, let's not worry about it right now, guys. We got $71,000, guys. We've been almost playing for uh, 50 minutes. Or 50 minutes, 50 hours. 50 hours in this game. Did we just drop down here, guys, you think? Is this it? Maybe? Ooh, I don't know. I'm clicking around. Doesn't seem like I didn't know. I didn't know. Is this it or not? Don't know. All right, well, I'll just keep flowing around. It looks like there's something here, though. Because there's, like, a... There's, like, a quicksand or something going on here. I try to go down in here. Nothing happening. And my, well, that's not the answer, guys. All right, well, we need to find her ship. It crashed somewhere around here. Let's go to Pirate Isle uh, straight ahead. Um, Or I guess it crashed. I don't know. Is that Pirate Isle up there? What is that? Go up. Whoopsie. Let's go up. No, that's not Pirate Isle. Oh, Pirate Isle, I think, is right above us now. Right there. There it is. That's Pirate Isle. So her ship crashed or, or went below the clouds somewhere around here. So we just need to kind of look around, I guess, till we find... Ooh, what is that? We need to keep uh, flying around till we find it. It's like an under... Oh, it's just some sort of a little island here. Can I click on this? What is this? Go check this thing out. The discovery, maybe? There's water in here. Can I get in there? Can I go in here? No, I cannot go in there. All right, whatever. Whatever. All right, so the game was not very specific. I think uh, Gilder said north of Pirate Isle, uh, down in uh, deep, deep sky or something, right? So, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's somewhere around here, I guess. Find it eventually. Fortunately, there's no random enemy encounters down here. There's that discovery thing we found. This wasn't it, though. I am get- I hear, like, background, like, uh, music sound effects or something. It's like, do 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 Keep floating around here a little bit till we find it. This whole area is actually surrounded by, um, like, sky rifts and stuff. This isn't it. This can't be it. Oh, well, I just clicked on something, guys. Was this it? Was this Dangrel Island? <laughs> It didn't look like much of an island. Ooh, I guess this is the where we need to go. Looked just like a rock. Glacian. Uh, Admirals of the Value and Armada. I have urgent news that affects all of you. Ho oh, ho! Words of wisdom from the Grand Admiral himself. Please enlighten us. He doesn't look happy. He looks angry. Uh, from this day forth, the Armada will no longer be under the Empress's control. Oh, he's totally going, um, traitor. Uh, those that do not wish to walk this path that I have chosen, leave now. Those that wish to hear my plans, stay. What? What is this? Admiral Glacian, do you know what you're saying? Have you gone insane, Glacian? Are you rebelling against the Empress? <laughs> uh, fear not, Alfonso. I have my wits about me. I am following my own path. It's your decision whether or not you wish to follow me. <laughs> that laugh, jeez, creepy. Uh, so Glacian finally shows his true intentions. Those words are treasonous. The punishment is death. Ramirez? If, if you speak in that manner again, I shall cleave you in two. What? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> oh, the voice acting. Uh, what? What do you mean? Wait, Ramirez. There is no need for you to waste your energy on this whelp. What about the rest of you? Will you follow me? Lord Galatian. It doesn't make any difference to me. As long as I get to fight, I don't care who's in charge. I will stay in the Armada as long as well. I still haven't finished building the ship that can go into deep sky. <laughs> also, if I stay in the Armada, I'll probably get to fight Vice again. <laughs> Gregorio has nothing to say. Gregorio, what will you do? Lord Glacian, what is your goal? I do not think that you are seeking the Imperial Throne. What is it you want? <laughs> you are correct. That is not my goal. I want more power, more control than Valio has ever had. That is all I will say for now. Lord Glacian, what are you up to? Hmm. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Here we are, guys. Here we are, guys. So I guess this is uh, Dangrelion. I didn't read it before I stopped it. All right, let's just go, I guess. Yeah. Let's see. Wait, do I need to go down? Oh, there's a stair. Oh, no. Okay, so we got to go down there, guys. Let's go down there. Let's go down there. Um, I don't know. I guess this is where we think we can find Fina's ship or something. I'm not exactly sure where we're going here. Gilder said to go here, so here we are. All we need is Fina's ship so we can get back to uh, her hometown. Weird. Uh, we're like kind of breaking into their uh, underground. Oh, hmm. I can hear someone talking. Eh? We're going to spy on them. <laughs> Valiant soldiers. Uh, moon energy system operating within normal parameters. Power supply to the entire base is flowing smoothly. Okay, the inspection of this area is done. Let's go to the next one. I think that's the control area for the base's powers. Nice. Hmm. So we need to mess with that, don't we? <laughs> can we not jump down? Oh, okay. We can go down the ladder here. We're going to mess with these guys, aren't we, you guys? <laughs> We're so going to mess with these guys. All right, let's see. Where we look? Ah, there's a wall there. Okay. Let's turn the camera around. There we go. Tight quarters in here. Ooh, okay. That looks dangerous. Can I do this? No. Uh, it's a fan. It probably has. It's probably for ventilation. I don't think I should get too close. But it looks like there's a passageway behind it. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to stop the fan. Yeah, we need a switch, don't we, guys? We need to find a switch. Keep walking around so we find that switch. Guess we're gonna get random enemy encounters in here. I don't know. Ooh, we go that way or we go straight? Let's go straight. And we're, we're, whoa! I was going to say, we're clearing out a little bit of the mini-map in the bottom right. So they built some sort of, like, secret base, or uh, Glacian did, I guess. Ooh, we're fighting uh, Valiant soldiers here. All right. Elite guard. Okay, we'll see how elite they are. I'm going to do land burst on them. Ah, uh, she can go and defend herself. And we'll have, um, oh, I didn't get to see what their elemental is. Hey, that wasn't, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I don't know how they react to fire magic. Let's see here. Forget. I think they're lightning based or yellow elemental based. Uh, it does almost no damage, but it did kill the one guy. Ooh. Oh, nice. It was a critical hit, but he was defending. That's okay. Uh, we can finish them off now. Oh, wait, what element? Yeah, they are yellow elementals, so... Let me double check here. Uh, b -b 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 -b. Yellow is weak against green and silver, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so I should pro... Or no, actually, it's or blue. I think it's weak against blue. So actually, I think what I want to do is I want to switch to blue. I think that's right. All right, so let's go blue. Boo, boo. Switch her to blue. That was blue. Right? Oh, she's got green? Wait, it's hard to tell. I think that's blue. Okay. Q. And that's blue, yeah? That's green. Okay. Blue and green look very similar. Okay. There we go. That did more damage, I think. Well, actually, I didn't get to see what Ike did before. 
<laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it, Aika? We have beaten up the elite guards. We have 446 bucks from their pockets. Cute. Oh, wow, we ranked up Vice and Enrique with uh, Slipra. Slipra. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I forget what that is. Let's keep going this way. Ooh, this is... What is this? The dead end? Uh, hmm, I can hear someone talking. Ooh. So, these are the schematics that Lord De Loco designed. With this new design, his ship is supposed to be able to fly into deep sky. Now, that's what I hear, but it's not like I can understand any of it anyway. It all looks like scribbles to me. Well, I heard that Lord De Loco was going to take Lord Glacian to take a look around the chameleon today. What? If they see us slacking off here, we're done for. Let's get out of here. Oh, if we could grab those plans, we could get the deep sky. I guess we're not in deep sky yet. Um, so, oh, can I look through here again? Is it going to repeat the same as seeing? Oh, no. Okay. We need to grab those um, plans, I'm guessing. But I guess our, our blue moon crystal engine can't get us deep enough. I'm assuming we need to go through that vortex I saw earlier. The world map. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything this way, but let's go this way anyway. Can we look through this thing? Nah. Dead end! Absolutely nothing over there! Alright, let's go this way. Oh, here's the control room I think we saw earlier. Let's mess with this. Oh, this, this, it looks like a key. Let's mess with this and maybe we can stop the, um, fan? I guess stop the fan. Whoa! No, no, no. <gasps> did we set, did we shut the power off? Okay, we shut off the fan. The ventilation system. Oh, we're all gonna suffocate down here. We're gonna breathe our own farts. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back. We gotta go back to the uh, fan, apparently. Backtrack real fast. Oh man, I wonder what's gonna happen when I get done with the battle, if the camera's gonna be facing the same angle, or if it's gonna turn me around or something. I'm gonna get kinda lost. Okay, so let's see here. So, all right, so probably wanna do Reign of Swords. So I'm just gonna actually just buy, just go through all that with uh, defense so I can hurry up to my next turn. Ooh, that's kinda bad. We got, we got poison, maybe? Oh yeah, he got poison. Enrique's poison. Fina's kind of in kind of Fina's kind of in front of all of us here. Seems to be completely randomized where uh we show up, basically. I guess Fina was walking in front of us. Uh anyway, uh Rain of Swords. Oh yeah, Pirate's Wrath was awesome. It's super powerful. Uh unleashes the wrath of air pirates on a single enemy for devastating damage. That's really cool uh for a boss fight. Um, let's just do attacks. Alright, there we go. Rain of Swords should maybe clear them? I don't know. Find out, I guess. Nice, nice. That killed them all. <laughs> yeah, they didn't stand a chance. It's Rain of Swords. I don't think I've heard Enrique say that. We are victorious. Usually says, let us pray for another easy battle or something. Uh, yeah, okay, so the camera angle is still facing the same way. It's just so tight in these, uh... Go this way? Wait, 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 was it this way? No. I think we're going the right way. I think that was a dead end that way. Need to get those schematics. I guess that area we were just in was, um... The area where we saw the guys before earlier? When they were, uh, looking at control panel. It looked like a room with the control panel. So now we got to find the room with the schematics because we're gonna want that. I think <laughs> this guy doesn't know. This guy doesn't even know we were sneaking up on him. Over there. Ow! Gee. All right. Well, she hit him with the uh, pupil. Right, he's almost dead. Yeah, he's, oh, he's got like one HP there. Oh no! And he missed. Okay, come on, Enrique. It's all on you, Enrique. There we go. All right, cool. He's dead. Kind of cool armor. Kind of a camouflage design to it. That was fun! Okay, we got 223 gold, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go down here. We can just keep going deeper and deeper. Deep into Dangrel Island. Uh, there's nothing over there, is there? Yeah. Blech. First person perspective. Uh, what's going on here? Why is the room open up like this? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I was just making sure there's no doorways. Ooh, a gold door. How's our health doing, guys? Let's see here. 
Uh, be, 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 be. We're doing okay. Enrique could use a little bit of a pickup, so let's give him a little bit of, little bit of healing. I don't know if there's like a boss fight or something on the other side of the door. Probably not, because there's no save right here. But something's going to happen maybe when I open this door. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is another section of the map. Ooh, new. <sighs> okay, there's a door there. There's a, and there's two doors. The, oh, there's three doors that way. Let's just go this way. What's that? Can I do something with that? What is that? What is that? Oh, okay. It's just a light or something. I thought it was like a combo combo or something. Hmm, it won't open. It's probably locked or barred from the other side. Wow, okay, cute. Well, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. It's okay. Let's try this door here. I'm gonna get so lost. Oh no, this looks okay. Let's just go. It's like the one big maze. A door there, and what about that way? And a door there. Okay. Uh, maybe this is like um prison cells. Oh no, there's a guy in there. <laughs> there's two guys in there. I'm trying to clear out all the bad guys. Maybe these are like the crew quarters or something. I don't know. Oh, wow, there's four of them. Okay. Well, you know, we can just do Reign of Swords. Let's just defend. Hit us with a poison gas again. I'm gonna need to heal up. Ika's kind of hurting a little bit. Now we're poisoned, but the poison shouldn't really take a large effect on us. Ooh, nice counterattack. Um, if we can just defeat them right away with Reign of Swords here, we just gotta wait for a turn here again. Ooh, ouch, it did actually hit us when we went to the next turn. Great, okay. Rhinosaurus, and then let's just do melees. Boop. Rhinosaurus should be able to clear him. It worked last time. Unless some of them are defending, I don't know. Rhinosaurus, there they go, they're all dead. They're all dead. Boop. Is it over already? <laughs> Alright, so what were these guys hiding? Maybe they were guarding some treasure or something. Let's see here. Uh, okay. What's in this room, guys? What is in here? Okay, we're in. Ooh, gotta wait for the door to shut. Alright. What's going on here? There's nothing in here. Why did I come in here? There's nothing in here. What a complete waste. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> There's a completely empty room. Okay, that was a shame. How's our I'm not gonna worry about health just yet. Oh, okay, let's go to the other door across the way. It's probably more bad guys, yeah. No. Oh, is that? That might be a treasure chest. Oh, I just picked the wrong room. That's all. There we go. Q. You receive Imperial Blade. Ooh, I like the sound of that. What's that? I don't know what that is. All right, let's equip it, I guess, before we jump into another battle. Oh, wow. Vice has a 4,000 HP. I didn't realize that. Uh, max HP. We need to heal him, like, at least once. Boop. Boop. And she's good. He could use it. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, let's equip the uh, weapon. Is that is that for him or maybe it's for uh, Thunder Cutlass? What? What? When did I get Thunder Cutlass, guys? Was that from a boss fight? An ancient cutlass made from the Yelgur's hardened skin. Some say it can cut through lightning. Oh, that might be the um. Was that the purple uh, Gigas? Maybe. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. I should sell the Dream Cutlass. Uh, so I guess the other, the Imperial Blade is for, uh, Enrique, probably. Yeah, here we go. A sword of the legitimate heir to the throne can impose silence on enemies. Ooh, cool. That must be, like, a, a Valuant Blade or something. Imperial Blade. Cute, cute. We got, like, the King's Sword now or something for Enrique. That's awesome. Enrique is actually the heir to the throne, I think. because uh, his mom's the Empress. But, you know, if Galatian's trying to take over, that's a whole nother matter. Oh, it sounds like he's not really trying to take over. He just wants more power. Oh, cool. More more treasure. I bet there's bad guys in the other room across the way. All right, what we got in here? You received Sacrum Crystal, too. All right, okay. Well, that's just kind of a healing item. I'll take it anyway. I'll take it anyway. Now, was, there's probably bad guys in here. We might as well go ahead and check it. Oh, no. More? Jesus. This is like all the... This is the treasure wing of the... Uh, the place you receive a moonberry cool i don't know if i can do i'm at level 39 vice the respected i don't know if i can unlock his last thing yet nope i think i'm guessing when he reaches level 40 i can unlock his final super move all right 
Let's keep going down the hallway. I mean, we're just collecting all the treasure, guys. This is a dead end, too, anyway, probably. Oh, bad guys. <laughs> What's behind door number four? It's some bad guys. It's the bad guys. Alright, cool. Well, we got better weapons now. I got the Thunder Cutlass or whatever. Or Vice. I think it's the I think it's his right sword. There it is. That looks kinda cute. Uh, but we're just gonna wait for Reign of Swords. And then uh Enrique's got Ooh, that's kind of... <laughs> look at that. It's got the hilt on it or whatever is a crown. That's so funny. Imperial Blade. All right, let's have him defend. We'll do a uh, Reign of Swords. Ah, oh, gosh. He's always going to hit us with that uh, poison bomb. Jeez. It's weird, though. It only seems to hit, like, a few people in the radius of it. Like, it won't hit the full party. I don't know if it goes in a line or what. Okay, well now they poisoned the whole- they've hit all of my party members. Enrique's poisoned. Again? Oh, these guys. These guys, they're not gonna stop till everyone's poisoned. Oh wow, that hit everybody. And then everyone's poisoned now, I think. Except maybe not Ika. Yeah, Ika's not poisoned. Alright, so let's just go ahead and do, um... Beer. No, 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 I wanna do, uh, super move. Rain of Swords, there we go. Alright. Oh, cool. We killed one of them. There's really no point in everyone else fighting us. We're just going to do Reign of Swords, and they can't dodge Reign of Swords, so they're pretty much screwed. It does, like, 600-some-odd points. I don't know if that's just the maximum of their health points. Oh, no, it's done 700-something. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know how many health points they got. Over 500, I'm guessing. But Reign of Swords does plenty. Leveled up Fina, guys. She's level 38 now. Great. Q. Alright, so there wasn't anything in here, right? Uh, I can't mess with anything. Alright, let's go back. Let's do the... Oh, okay, so there's only one more room in this wing. Of the uh, island or whatever. I'm guessing there must be a treasure chest, or maybe not. Ooh. Oh, yeah, treasure chest. Cool. I think we gotta wait for the door to shut because it's like, oh, 4,000 gold. Nice. That was worth it, guys. That was worth it. That's like how much gold you typically get from bosses. Uh, okay, so let's run back. I think I'm gonna go to the other side of the hallway now. Because there's another door I haven't gone through yet. Um, well, there's another door too, though. All right, well, let's go through this door. I haven't been through here. with this, this way. There's a risk, though. If I go down... Okay, that's going to take us downstairs. I don't know. That might be the way we need to go. I want to collect everything else up on this level first. Let's go back. Uh... Came through that door. Okay, so... Oh, there is not another door. Oh, I was looking at the door, like, directly behind, like, at Vice's head there. That's the door we came through to get up in here. So let's just check this door here. It's probably not going to open. Uh, and then we'll just go back to that other door and go downstairs, which is probably where we actually need to go. I'm guessing the door at the end of the hallway is going to be locked as well or whatever, barred shut. But might as well try and check. Whoa, what the fudge? <gasps> What's that? What's that, guys? Oh, that looks like a boss from the beginning of the game. What? No. Um, I'm going to save up for uh, Pirate's Wrath. I think I'll actually have enough points to do it if I don't use any spirit points in this turn. Okay, so this is a... I think it's red. Red elemental. So if it's red elemental, we need to switch to um, purple. Let's switch to purple. There we go. Switch to purple. Because purple is like ice. Uh, yep. There we go. Actually, I'm going to have her defend. She's not really very good in melee anyway. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, I think this tank thing was like one of the first boss enemies in the game. I'm surprised we're fighting these things here. Lurgle tank. I mean, I don't think it's the same. Wow, he did 500 points of damage, though. I don't know if it's the same exact enemy. Wheel. Oh, this is a big, this is bad. Wheel blast. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, there's a, oh he's a dude driving it. Whoa, they almost killed every, they almost killed him. Jeez. Well, I'm gonna need to heal. Okay, well, I got enough points to do Pirate's Wrath. So we'll do that. 
And we need to heal bad, like real bad. Um, so let's do a, uh, what's that? Uh, one Saculum Crystal, a uh, thousand for all allies. Hmm. Guess we could do that. Or I could do full, fulling heal, healing, um, Saculin Crystal. I think that's like, restores all HP for one ally. So let's do that on her. Um, you know what? Actually, I think I'm gonna, oopsie. Let's do Pirate's Wrath. But then I think actually I could probably use the, uh, the one that does a thousand HP for everybody, uh, that's this one. Yeah, that one. And then she could also do a regular Sacri's Crystal. Who else is hurting bad, bad, bad? Ika's hurting bad. Let's help Ika out. And then he's just gonna do regular attack. I mean, he could use health too. He'll get a thousand from that other thing. You know what? Let's go ahead and just have him heal as well. Let's heal himself with a thousand Let's HP. All right, so this should help everybody out. Get everyone's HP kind of back. Let's try this. Hopefully the pirate... I don't know if the pirate's wrath will kill the guy. But we'll see. It's going to do a lot of damage. This is such a cool move. I can't wait till we can get his last super move for, I think, level 40, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's like we're in space. It's so cool. Oh, there we go. We killed it. One hit kill. There you go, guys. Heck yeah. All right. It was definitely strong. Uh, and it had a lot of HP, but nah. <laughs> Pirate's Wrath killed it. We did it, guys. We did it. We need to do some more healing, though. We got only 683 and 1,200 gold for that. But it was like, it felt like, like that boss from the beginning of the game. Okay, so let me see. We need to do a little more healing. Uh... I didn't get to finish healing. Let's see, who needs it? Uh, Enrique, probably. By Fina, too. And Ika. Let's just heal everybody. All right, there we go. We got enough healing items. I'm going to need to buy more healing items at some point. Oh, there's a hole here. Whoa, now that's scary. It must have been an elevator shaft. Must be an elevator shaft. We can't go down there, apparently. Uh, I don't know if we need to call the elevator or something, but we can go down the stairs over here. Let's not worry about it, guys. Let's not worry about it. See, so, yeah, this is the way we need to go. Whoa, is there something behind me? No. Okay. Going down further. Going deeper. The door here. All right, more doors. Another section of the map. Boy, here's something. I don't know what that sound is. There's that shaft again, the elevator shaft. Whoa, now, that's scary. That must be an elevator shaft. Yep, 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 yep. We got... Ooh, that's like the outside or something? Well, let's go through this door first. What's in here? Oh, we're going back inside. Eh, this might continue the dungeon. Whoa, what the... Eee! Whoa, look at that ship. Ooh, that looks cool. That's the Loco ship, yeah? That's the chameleon. All right, wait a minute, guys. Let me go back here before we go do that. I don't know what's going to trigger like a cutscene and if I'm not going to be able to look at this other stuff if I go further. Let's go this way. <clears throat> what is this? It's like a dock. Okay, so there's nothing here. Huh. Doesn't appear to be anything here. Let's walk to the edge anyway. Oh, there's something down. Oh, look at that. What is that, guys? Huh? Wow, this is cool. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what that thing is down there, guys. Uh, like some sort of a... Island or something? A vortex or something? I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's Venus ship. I have no idea. Oh, there's... Are there stairs? Oh, there's stairs here. Wait a minute. I can't open the stairway, though. Why not? Why can't I open the stairway, guys? I can't go down the stairs here. There's stairs here, though. Right there. Uh, I don't know if they go down further. I guess we're not meant to go that way right now. Let's go back this way. I don't know if there's any actual enemies on this area. Because it, like, it loaded um, into a new area. Now, there might be more random enemy encounters in this area, though. 
All right, see, that's, that's the Delocal. Oh, these are the plans. We needed these plans, guys. That's what I was looking for. Schematics. Here we go. We got them. Oh, yes, guys. Yes. Now we could leave, really. These must be the plans for the ship that Gilder was talking about. I think you're right, Aika. All the specs, from the hull to the engine, they're all written here. This ship is Admiral DeLoco's ship, the Chameleon. It appears that his ship is being modified according to these plans. Can we, can we steal his ship? Well, now that we have this, we might be able to get to Deep Sky. We've gotten what we came here for. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Wait, don't tell us we're going to have to fight the Chameleon again. Uh, the logo. Hee <laughs> hee We are currently strengthening the walls of the bridge. Hmm. Increase the speed of the construction. Finish it within the week. Hmm. <laughs> don't mind us. Uh. Well, well, well. What do we have here? This time, I will be sure to dispose of you all permanently. You received the ship's schematics. Oh boy, I'm so happy, guys. I'm happy. Are you, I hope you guys are happy. All right, so we just leave now, yeah? Uh, we gotta backtrack. We gotta backtrack, guys. All right, so I guess we're backtracking. We gotta climb, yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. We're gonna go back the way whence we came. Um, Eventually, I'll probably trigger a cutscene or something. Climb all the way back up this way. Nero, Nero. Who designed this place, right? Uh, okay. All right. We just go this way. Those other doors don't open, so I might as well just go back the way. Oh, stop, air pirate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Caught red handed. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna fight us, isn't he? Look at that sword, it's ridiculous. It's like, it's like Cloud Strife's sword or uh, Gus's sword from Berserk. Um, it looks like we meet again. Glacian. Heh, <laughs> not only once, but twice you escaped from the Grand Fortress. Very impressive. Good thing I healed up. Uh, however, do you think you will escape a third time? Glacian, what is Valio planning to do by building a place like this? <laughs> if it isn't the little prince, whatever Valio it does, your highness, is no longer any of your concern, if I'm not mistaken. You were the one who threw away your responsibilities and sided with these pirates. I did not throw away my responsibilities. I'm working to rebuild the empire. It matters not to me. I have no interest in value anymore. I shall dispose of you here once and for all. Oh. Hm. This is great. Of all people to get caught by. Huh? Where's Fina? <laughs> uh, Vice, behind you. Uh, oh, there she is. Okay. Who that? The Gregorio? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It has been a while, Prince Enrique. Gregorio! Oh no, are we gonna fight two of these guys at once? I didn't get to save. Oh, come on now. How ironic that fate has led us both here to pit sword against sword with each other. Long, awkward walk forward, okay. Uh, do not worry, I am not here to fight you. <gasps> what? What? What are you doing? Gregorio, you understand the consequence consequences of your actions. Lord Glacian, it appears that you do not understand the consequences of your actions. You wish to revive the ancient horrors and use them to make the world yours? I cannot sit back and watch you destroy the world. What are you doing? Prince, you spoke the word 
the, as you spoke the truth when you last met at Esperanza. The Empire has chosen the wrong path. You and Vice are the only ones that can stop the Armada. Prince Enrique, let my last act be in your honor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? I will hold them off. Escape while you can. What are you saying? We will fight with you. You must not take Glacian lightly. He is more powerful than you can imagine. And this is a military base of the Armada. If you don't escape soon, you will all be surrounded. If you die here, the world will be doomed. Go, our last hopes lie with you, young prince. I earned the nickname Ironwall Admiral. I won't let him pass me. And I will be able to die defending you. I cannot ask for a higher honor. Wait, don't do this. Young Prince, Captain Vice, please, you must stop Glacian. You are our last hope. Oh, wow. No! Wow! No! Okay, Enrique, that's enough. <laughs> oh, no. Gregorio, have you made your peace? Um, okay, so this is good. The bad guys are fighting each other, right? Uh, I am ready to die, Lord Glacian, but I shall die defending my people against a tyrant. Oh, okay. Gregorio's actually a good guy. I think we did fight him back in Esperanza, though. All right, so we're just trying to get the Higgs out of you guys. Let's just go this way, I guess. Uh, there's like a ladder here somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's just go. We got this command X, but we're going to have to probably take him... I'm guessing we're gonna have to go back to Crescent Isle again, because we have to get the uh, engineer guy and uh, Ishmael to um, build the engine or whatever, so. All right. We'll do that, we'll do that. Thankfully, no one's chasing us. <laughs> didn't, didn't put out an alert or an alarm or anything. All right, so there's only one more ladder. I don't think there's any enemy encounters out here. I guess not. All right, let's climb up. All right, that was kind of a short dungeon. We got some good stuff, though. I mean, we got the, um... The Imperial Blade or whatever. For Enrique, that's cool. And a Moonberry. Those are always appreciated. Uh, there's a save spot. Let's go and save now. I didn't save yet. Doop -a -doo. All right, so probably gonna do into disc one. Wow. Okay. All right, let's do that. All right, so all my saves are now on disc two. Dang. Okay, so it is Dangro on air duct. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to read it before I landed here. Okay, let's just go. Let's go. Uh, return to Delphinus or stay here a little while. Why would I stay here? I want to go back to Delphinus. Let me go to Delphinus. Hey, get the heck out of here. I'm sure it's fine, guys. We'll be fine. I'm not worried. Gregorio, you were like family to me. He was like an uncle to Enrique, I think. Mm. He killed them. Lord Glacian, what's going on? Send him back to value and make sure his body is well taken care of. It is worth more than your life. Yes, Lord Glacian. Ooh, that's an evil laugh. Gregorio, you were always the kind to be the last to stay on a sinking ship. Oh, careful swinging that blade around, Glacian. Oh, huge sword, jeez. Oh man, that was that's sad, guys. That's sad. Well, at least we don't have to fight Gregorio. That's one of the admirals down. There's still DeLoco, Belizia, uh, the one macho guy, and Galatian. I don't know if I'm forgetting one of the admirals. I don't know if we're going to have to fight all of them. All right, so we're done here. Okay, cool. So we fought. That was Dangrel Island. Okay. I couldn't see it because it was like from the, uh, you know, you see it hidden behind. Anyway, go around this way. And yeah, there you can see it, but I came at it from like, I guess this direction. So when I was looking at it, it just looked like a rock. It was like nothing there. It's hidden behind there. That makes sense. It's kind of a hidden spot. Okay. 
So I'm guessing we gotta go back to Crescent Isle. We need to go back this way again. So we need to get it hooked up. Uh... I don't know what that music sound is I'm hearing. Uh, because we need to go in, I guess, deep sky. So like below this area, we can't really get down in there right now. We're not in deep sky apparently right now. We're just in kind of a lower sky area. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna actually fly my ship down here a while. There might be more, um, there might be more discoveries down here that I haven't seen yet. I'll make sure I'm going the right way though. Let's kind of head back. I think we're going under uh, Nassar right now. This is Nassar here. The desert kingdom. Can I go through this? Let's do here. The sky rift. Now we go through this. No problem, though. I don't see anything else down here. I think we need like a few more discoveries. Before we can go back to Domingo. I may not get enough discoveries, but that's okay. I think we're getting close to Crescent Isle now. We gotta go, actually we gotta go due north here. So let's go north. Yeah, that's Crescent Isle right up there, I think. Nothing else down here? Nope, pretty empty down here. Okay, let's go up. Uh, there's Crescent Isle, we need to go there. Yep. okay, cool. We're back. Uh, I assumed we had to come back here. Let's talk to the engineer. Oop. There we go. All right, cool. That makes sense. I think if you're confused, you could uh, go into the bridge and talk to like the other player characters and they might give you hints on where you need to go. <laughs> Brabham. Uh, what's this? These are plans to enable a ship to enter deep sky? Can you use these plans to modify the Delphinus? Well, apparently I think the Chameleon's gonna be able to go down there too, though. Darn tootin', but it'll take some time. I can't wait to get started. I can have it done in 10 days. Good, if anyone can do it, it's you. 10 days. Are you telling me literally like we gotta go through 10 day cycles in this game? You gave the ship schematics to Bravin. How cute. Well, I did a good thing. Modifications to the Delphinus began on that day. We need 10 days to finish our preparations. Crescent Isle began to bustle with activity. This vice. Huh. So we're gonna be able to go to deep sky. It's too bad we can't just go, you know, up to, you know, uh, super high sky or whatever it's called. That's where uh, Phoenix, uh, Fina's um, uh, shrine is, or whatever, moon shrine. Uh, using the blueprints that we took from Valia, Bravin was hard at work rebuilding the engine of the Delphinus. Well, he's done this so many times, he's rebuilt this engine. I can't wait to see what lies in deep sky with my own eyes. I guess we're, we're probably going to need to go back to where we was just at, uh, Pirate Isle, because that's where I think Fina's ship crashed. Uh, far beneath the great blue sky, beneath the clouds, I can already imagine that the atmospheric pressure must be high. We must reinforce the Delphinus' hold to make sure that it doesn't collapse under the pressure. Who's going to do that? Ishmael? No, he actually works on um the, uh, the village, I think. I don't think he works on the ship like Bravin. Uh, ever since that day, Enrique began to spend more and more time by himself. Looking back, losing Gregorio must have been the hardest thing Enrique has ever faced. Hmm, we better not lose Enrique as a party member. And then, on the tenth day, night fell on Crescent Isle. I remember lying awake in my bed for a long time before I finally fell asleep. Okay, so cool, we've been through ten days now. So it should be done, yeah? <laughs> Unless, you know, he's like Scotty or whatever. He's like, oh, Captain, it will take me, you know, three weeks to finish it. And then he finishes it in like six hours. <sighs> oh, I still can't feel rested. Maybe because I've stayed awake all night the day before yesterday working on the Delphinus. I should head over to the port. If everything went according to schedule, the modifications should be finished by now. What advice do it sound? It sounds like Brabham was uh, doing all the work. Vice isn't a uh, mechanic, really. Okay, so let's go. Cool. See if we can talk to our party members. Um, someone here, I forget who's in this room. Uh, this might be Enrique's room. I don't know. 
I think uh, this room is Ika's. Open the door. Yeah, there she is. That's what she says. Bravum should be finished working on the Delphinus by now. Let's hurry back to the port, Vice. All right, and Fina's probably in this other room here. Yeah, there she is. She has a, yeah, she has a picture of Vice right there on the table. <laughs> so the Phoenix will be able to sail into Deep Sky. I never dreamed that I'd have to go down there. Uh, I don't know what sort of enemies would be down there. I wonder if it's going to be like going through the Dark Rift, you know, like a, like a, a Sky Dungeon sort of level. Uh, let's talk to her. Trilla. That old Ishmael really is something. Just watching him makes me want to start building things for you. So how about it? It will cost you some gold, but I guarantee you a job well done. I can't just sit here while Ishmael has all the fun. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, it's about a time. I don't need to be doing this. All right, so let's go to the port, guys. I think you can invest money and build, like, a little bit more of a village. I'm not sure if that will give you, like, a weapon shop and stuff. Because that could be useful. She sells like attack item magic items but that's all she didn't have healing items it would be kind of nice to have a healing item merchant here at crescent isle our base uh, i'm gonna need to go fill up on healing items seems like the best place to get the healing items right now is yafutama but yeah maybe i don't know maybe i do need to do a little bit of town building let's talk to brabham Oh, Captain Vice, we finished modifying the Delphinus right on time. Cool. So we can go even lower now, I guess, in the world map? Maybe there'll be more discoveries. Lower the pressure shutters! Oh, what is Marco doing? He doesn't... He doesn't... He, that's not his thing. Okay, fine. He knows what to do. Start the submergence engine! Hey, come back with my ship. Where are you going? Well, what do you think? We have successfully converted the Delphinus into a cloud delving machine. You cool. <laughs> Good job, Bravum. Now we'll be able to enter Deep Sky. You really are the best. Why, thank you, little lady. Before you go, I heard there's some sort of vortex near Shrine Island. Yeah, that's what I saw earlier, guys. I was trying to go through there. You might be able to submerge through there. The vortex near Shrine Island? God. All right, everyone. Let's get going. Vice, wait a second. Uh oh Don't leave us. Don't leave us. Don't leave the party. Actually, there's something important that I wanted to talk to you about. I I must return to Value. I cannot travel with you any longer. This will be the last voyage with you aboard the Delphinus. Oh, I was worried he was going to leave us. <gasps> what? Man, we're going to be down to three uh, characters, unless Gilder helps us. Glacian and the Armada have freed themselves from the control of the Valiant Empire and are acting on their own free will. Glacian probably has some sort of terrible scheme planned. I must return to Value and report this news to my mother. He must be stopped. Oh, I get so sad. <laughs> you, you can't! It's too dangerous, Enrique! I know the dangers that I face, and I'm sure that my mother won't readily listen to anything I have to say, but I am still the Prince of Value. It is my duty to go. Mogi, oh, she likes him. But Enrique... Princess, do not worry about me. I don't plan on dying just yet. I will. I will return. This, I swear. No. Oh, she don't want him to go. She don't want him to go. Oh, she's so sad. Really? You're going to do this to her? You're going to leave her. Vice, after we get Fina's ship, could you bring me to Sailor's Island? I'll be able to borrow a ship there. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> Oh, no. We... Oh, we still got him. We still got him. Okay, so he's going to go on one more mission with us, I guess. Are we done? We're ready to go. Now that the things can submerge, it is the greatest ship in the sky. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you're right about that. Okay, so we'll just go. Uh, ooh, wait a minute. Uh, no, it's not to buy there. All right, let's go. Let's go. Need to need to find another town so I can buy more stuff for my ship. I don't know if there's, like, many more places I can get new stuff. So I, I want to go to, oopsie, I want to go to, yeah, Futuma and uh, collect up, it's right over there, guys. I want to collect up some um, items, like healing items. They just need to go due east. I think I can go underneath this, this thing here. I can go underneath it or over it, maybe. 
Or is this the dark rift? Can I not get through the dark rift? I might not be able to... I think I can go over the dark rift, though. Let's see. Can I go through it? Underneath it? No. You cannot go under the dark rift. I might be able to go above the dark rift, so let's go up. Up, 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 Yes, you can fly over the dark rift. You can't go under the dark rift. So I want to go to Yafutama, which is right over here. Oh, there's that mountain. There's a blue moon. Uh, where is Yafutama? The, uh, Asian island or whatever over here. There we go. We're near it. Uh... I don't want to drop down just yet because I don't want to get all these random enemy encounters. All right, it's just to the east. That's why. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. I collect up some more healing items, guys. Just stock up pretty much. Because uh, I don't know what I'm going to be go facing against uh, in Deep Sky. We'll head to Deep Sky in just a second. I'm going to fill out my inventory with more healing items. So I can feel a little more comfortable. I have quite a few healing items. I, I could probably make this trip another time, but I'm already here, and it's really nearby, because it's right by Crescent Isle. Thank goodness we can fly over Dark Rift now. Wow, it's like, it was such a big deal when we first came here. It was like, wow, no one... We're in a part of the world where, like, nobody's really been to the, uh, from the western part of the world and whatnot, and it was a big deal, and it was really cool and everything, but now it's so easy to get here, because we can just fly over Dark Rift. We don't have to, uh, go through, or uh, through it. Okay, so we gotta go all the way around this way. It's kind of a roundabout way to get to the item shop. I'm just gonna max out my items. I mean, I got so much money, guys. I had so much money. I'm gonna just max out the healing items here now. I got at least 70 grand, probably 80 grand. I have no, I have no idea, actually. We'll find out here. Uh, well, what can I do for you? Let's see here. We have almost 80 grand. <laughs> Not quite 80. We got 79,444. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's just buy some stuff. Oh, I can't buy any more of those. I maxed out on those. Oh, okay, we don't have maxed out on these. This is 1,000 HP for all allies. It's pretty expensive. But we can buy more of them. Let's buy another 20 of those. I mean, I could max out those, I guess. Um, This, this item, Magic Dew, gets you 10 MP for one ally. That seems really useful. It's four hundred dollars. It's also expensive. Buy ten of those, and then there's these uh, revive items. Uh, Fifty percent chance of reviving one ally, or it will revive an ally to max HP. That's like really good. I want a lot of those. How many do I own? I know how many I own. Let's see, well, we got seventy-seven of those. I mean, we're. I mean, it's unlikely I'm gonna need that many. I've haven't. I've only had one. I've only died, I've only had some characters, like, completely die or go unconscious, like, a handful of times, maybe one or two times, really. I got probably way too many of those, that's okay. Major Pro Moon Enchanted Box, the Spell Crystalline, three charges. Let's just sell it. Man, I'm not gonna get any money for that, though. It's okay. Oh, we don't need the Dream Cutlass, that can go. Frost Blade, a blade so sharp and cold it's almost numbing to the touch, it can confuse enemies. I think that was Vice's weapon, let's just sell it. Scale mail. I'm not using it. Extremely effective armor from the east. Crap. Let's just sell it. I don't think we need it. Uh, thunder bomb. Uh, frost bomb. They don't seem to be worth that much money, so I might as well sell them. Cause I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably not gonna use them in battle. Sell it. Uh, I could probably. I could probably use more deluxe kits, gear grease, that sort of thing. Rudder grease is actually pretty nice. Wish I had more of those. I don't know if you can buy that. I still got 60 grand, guys. Uh, anything else to sell here? Red dragon? What's a red dragon? Very little is known about this rare creature. Its meat is a delicacy. Yeah. Sky Sardis. I'll hold on to the red dragon. I don't know if I need it for anything, though. I still got 60 grand, guys. I guess I can just buy... Let's just max out my... Max out that. There we go. Healing items. They are maxed out with the healing items now. All right, I I don't really use MP. I've like never used MP really in this game. The magic do would be useful for that. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, and I don't really ever need any more of that revive item thing. I think let's get out of here. All right, so we may never. Uh, you, you know what? I don't know. We're getting closer to the end of the game. I think I may never have to come back here. That would be great if I didn't have to come back here to stock up on healing items again. 
I've come back here, like, maybe... That might be, like, the second or third time I've been back here now. I don't think there's a better place to buy items at. There's Esperanza. I can't remember if we... I think we went to Esperanza before we came to Yafutama. I think, I think this town, Yafutama, was the last regular town we've been to. If memory serves me correctly. And all these towns we visited, I think, in Disc 1. So, yeah. I don't know what... Disc 2 seems like... Seems like Disc 2 is more dungeon-heavy, I think. Although it does include, of course, all these towns on the, the disc... Uh, the data disc. Alright, so let's, um... Let's leave here now, guys. We got our healing items. We got our healing items. I heard a duck. Silly duck. <laughs> Neat music. Alright, so let's go. Let's go back to Delphinus. Uh, yeah, return to Delphinus. Okay, so where are we going, guys? I'm looking... Oh, yeah, they said there was a vortex. I saw it earlier, guys. I was like, can I not go down there? I know I couldn't go down there. Okay, so let's go to... Um, we gotta go back to Shrine Islands. We're gonna go back this way again. And you go, I think, southwest from here. Like, all the way over here. Right over here. And we need to go uh, below the clouds again. And we'll go through that vortex thing. So I guess even though we can go to Deep Sky now... Deep Sky is not really an area, so to speak, on the regular world map. It's just like a dungeon level, I think so. But we can go there now through that vortexy thing. So we'll do that. A little back and forth, but that's okay. Don't hurt nobody. I think there's like maybe about 20 more discoveries or something on the map I just have not found. They're going to get harder and harder to find, of course, as I find more of them. What's down here? What is this? It's like just sand. Um, where are we at right now, actually? Oh, we're getting near uh, Maramba. Or no, Esperanza. I need to go west. Do west now, actually. Go this way. I can look down while I'm flying. Kind of interesting to see. Don't see any discoveries along there? You can look up too. I don't usually. Whoopsie. I don't usually look up. Oh, it's, what's that in front of us? Oh, that's the... Oh, wow, we're near South Ocean or something? See, there's the... There's those, um... Hurricane things. They're almost there, I think. So we're under the Silver Moon. Yeah. Just gotta cross the Sky Rift here. Alright. Okay. Probably near... Probably near, um... Pirate Isle now. There's that music again. There's like music in the background. Let's just drop down. I think we're near the area. All right. Okay, so where is the vortex? Just near Shrine Isle. What is that over there? Oh, is that that might be um Dangrel Island? We were just what? What's up? What's going on here? What? There's like a cable going from what? What is this? What the fear is this? There's like something down here. Is that Dangrel Island? Why is there something going? Oh, is this Dangrel Island? Why is this Dangrel Island? Oh, I didn't even notice that before. So there's like something extending from Dangrel Island over to here. What are they doing down here? It's like a net or something? Okay, I can fly right. Oh, I can't fly through it. What is this thing? It's part of Dangrel Island, apparently. Weird. Huh. I don't know what they're up to. <laughs> well, this is the this is that void or whatever. Okay, the vortex. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Going to deep sky. Oh no! 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 This looks scary. Yeah, deep ocean is uh. One of the scariest things. Um, Ika, do we really have to go in through that vortex? I'm afraid that I don't know anything about it. Deep Sky, I'm a little scared. The world beneath the clouds, where not even light can reach. All right, we're going under. We have to find Fina's ship. Close the pressure shutters. Yeah, this will this will protect us. This will protect us. Let's close the glass shutters. Okay. It's getting dark. 
<laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> He's smirking. All right. Vice seems pretty confident. Ooh, green alert. Green alert. Start the submergence engine. Submerge. Okay. So I guess we'll just kind of like... I don't know. Grab the engine off of Fina's ship and bring it back to Crescent Isle so they can hook it up to the Delphine. Phoenix, I have no idea what, we're, what we hope to do here. Ooh, cool, guys. Deep, deep sky. Okay, let's look down. Ooh. I'm guessing we got to keep going down, so let's go down. I'm going to look down here so you guys can kind of see where I'm going. Or I can kind of see where I'm going. Oopsie. Okay, I'm just going down right now. I'm going to back up a little bit. can't really see anything. We're just going down, guys. Whoa. Looks like there might be an end to it, though. Look at this. Going down, guys. I'm, I'm diving down. Oh, oops. Okay. Cutscene or something. What is that? Is that her ship? No, that's us. Okay. Wow. So this is the world beneath the clouds. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. Uh, <laughs> what happened to this planet, guys? Like, everyone lives up in the sky. Uh, the surface is covered with a thick layer of mud. Phoenix ship is probably stuck in it somewhere. How are we supposed to look for Phoenix ship down here? It could be anywhere. Zyka? Oh boy, guys, great. Uh, don't worry, Bram told me before we left that he installed something he called Moonstone Sonar into the Delphinus. It's a device that uses the energy from the Moonstones to detect physical objects. You can use it by pressing the B button. The <laughs> B button. <laughs> what do you think, we're playing a video game? Ooh, question mark. Oh, it's weird. It's, it's like, um, it's like Battleship. Once you press the button, the sonar will send out a wave of energy. If it detects anything, a question mark will appear on the map. Oh, everything's a question mark. If it detects something of interest, right? But if it doesn't find anything, nothing will happen. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You'll need to send out a few sonar waves as we move around in order to try and pinpoint where the object is. Then, once we've narrowed the location down, press the A button to lower the crane. Oh gosh, okay, so this is like a, um... Uh, it's like a claw machine. Okay, great. <gasps> oh, it's like an arcade game. Wow, okay. If there's something under the mud, the crane should pull it out. I see. Find it with the sonar, then pull it out with the crane, huh? The sonar uses a lot of energy, so we can only use it ten times. Uh-oh. But if we go back above the clouds, we can recharge the sonar and be able to use it again for 10 more times, okay? So if we run out of sonar charges, we just can't, we just go back up, huh? Okay, let's start searching. Okay, so, we, so we're going to, um, okay, so. But I can do this as many times as I want, I guess. I can use the, the, the uh, claw. Oh, do we go into battle when I do that? Oh no, oh <laughs> no. Are we who are we fight? Oh, <gasps> whoa, scary. It's a stingray or something. Okay, well, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Claw. Oh, no, guys. Raja. Raja, huh? Who's Raja? Let's fight Raja, guys, I guess. Uh, well, I don't even, I don't even see an option for like super moon cannon or whatever. What's going on here? It's weird. Uh, Kai? Do a torpedo, I guess. Let's just hit him with everything. I don't know. Oh, I can't do nothing else. All right, never mind. We need to use um, gear grease, I guess. Uh, we'll have her do what? Do we need to heal? I don't know how bad this guy is. Let's guard there. We'll have him do that cannon there. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know how strong this guy is. I don't know if it's a boss or what. Can't even see him. We're gonna have trouble. Uh, oh wow. Okay, never mind, guys. <laughs> Ten thousand points. That almost killed him. Okay. So we just we hit him once with the primary carry, and then I guess once with the secondary, and that'll probably kill him. All right. So he's not so bad. It's just kind of hard to see him. So I don't know if we're gonna have trouble locking on and shooting him. Wow, we're just so deep in the ocean, and they can't even see ahead. All right, one more hit, probably. Oh no, luminescence. Yikes, guys. Oh, yeah, that actually wasn't so bad, though. It was only 2,000 points. Well, that's so cool, though, even though he's kind of an easy enemy to defeat. All right, can we hit him? 
Oh, we missed. Okay, yeah, great. Of course we'll do that. Make us miss. Well, uh, I want to I want to play the odds of trying to hit the guy more often rather than uh, do more damage. So I'll probably just do secondary cannon next turn here. I just keep trying to shoot the secondary cannon until we hit him. I guess I guess every time I use the claw machine, I'll just call it a claw machine. Um, it makes us do a battle, but maybe otherwise we don't have to do like um, I don't know if I defend. Maybe otherwise I don't need to do uh, just do that. I don't. There's not random enemy encounters down here. It's just when you use the claw. All right, we only need to hit him like one more time, I think. There, oh, he's almost dead. Okay, one more hit from the secondary cannon. So this takes um, two secondary cannons and one main cannon, or probably two main cannons. Yikes. All right, there we go, we got him. <laughs> I don't know why he catches fire, but there he goes. He's going down. Cause we're on. I guess we're not underwater. We're deep sky. It feels like we're underwater. Eleven 1 hundred gold. That's not bad. We leveled up Ica too. Cool. Nice. Plus. She only got plus thirty nine HP. Okay. So okay. All right. So let me see here. So can I actually do a? a oh, I can only go to bridge. Actually, you know what? Let's go to bridge, guys. I just want to see what. Uh, see what it looks like. Ooh, the shutters are shut. That's cute. Wow, it's dark in here. Let's talk to Ika. We have to find Fina's ship. When something shows up on the sonar, you have to use the claw to try and get her, okay? Uh-huh. What do you say, Fina? This this place is amazing. I wonder if we'll really be able to fly my ship down here. Find my ship down here. Let's grab him. The engine checks out okay. We're still holding up strong. Huh? Good deal. How you doing, Ika? The view is amazing. I never imagined that a world such as this existed beneath the clouds. What is the Armada trying to accomplish by building ships that can travel down here? I wonder what Galatian's up to. Let's talk to Mogi. In Yafuruma, there are tales of demons that live beneath the clouds and eat bad children. But looking at how dark the world is down here, I can almost I can almost believe those children's story. Scary. That's scary, guys. I'm sorry. I'm scared. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to give you guys nightmares. It's kind of late where I am right now. Uh, visibility is horrible. We don't know where we're going, and you're still making me fly this thing? Hurry up and take the wheel, will you? Yeah, let's take the wheel. Thank the moons. I can finally relax. Just be careful and don't get us all killed, okay, Captain? Oh, yeah, Don is our helmsman. Lawrence was, but uh, I think Don's better. All right, so I think what I want to do is I just want to cover as much of the... There we go. As much of the green blocks as possible. Okay, so we already actually checked that one block. So I'm going to press the sonar button. And anything that pops up as a question mark is something we can go ahead and use a claw on. Okay, there was nothing there. All right, so we just want to maximize this way. Gonna turn around this way. All right, so let's do the sonar here. I don't know if there's treasure chests down here. Oh, wow. Everything's question mark here. All right, well, let's just drop it, I guess. Man, I have to check this nine times. I mean, there's gonna be nine battles. I hope not. Oh my goodness gracious, guys! Really, I'm gonna have to do like nine, nine of these battles with the stingray creature. Oh no! Please don't, please don't tell me I have to do this every time. Okay, well, all right, let's 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 get through it, guys. Well, we'll get through this. All right, we know we just use a, uh, a uh, primary can twice. Oh man, I don't have enough points though. That's annoying. Um, I don't need to. I can go ahead and do gear grease. Uh, I don't need to. How many gear greases do I have? I have 92. Oh, we're good on gear grease. Um, have her defend, I guess. You know what? Let's back it. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I mean, I don't need to. Let's say, let's do it this way. No, let's do the gear grease. Let's do the gear grease. Actually, I don't need to because I could just do primary cannon again. All right, so I'm just trying to think figure out the most efficient way of doing this. Ugh. Okay, I got seven. I wonder if the torpedo does more damage. Mm. Let's try torpedo, guys. I don't know if one shot with the ancient cannon 
and one hit of the torpedo would kill him in the first turn. I don't know if it's possible. You know, I should probably use the crew member that like gives us tons of um, spirit points, right? Because then I wouldn't have to use the um, the gear grease, right? Because I think, and I can do that at the beginning of every battle. Oh, I should do that, guys. I should use the crew member that gives you like maximum spirit points or something. Because I just need to hit this guy with ancient cannon a whole bunch of times. Now, I don't know. Let's see. We'll find out if the torpedo will be enough to kill him in, the, in one turn. It probably is not going to be. And it depends if it actually hits him or not, too. So we missed with the secondary cannon on the first try last time. Wow, that did almost no damage. I guess we we're defending or something. But now we're defending. Oh, we missed. Oh, we shot. Oh, we missed with the torpedo. I don't know. Torpedoes might not work very well down in deep sky. <laughs> it's hard to see anything, yeah. Man. I think what I'm gonna do after this battle is I'm gonna fly around the whole map and just use the sonar. We can use the sonar 10 times. Use it everywhere. I guess it'll keep track, hopefully, of like, um... Oh, I can't do Ancient Cannon in a second. Oh, I did nine points. All right, let's just do that. Let's just have everyone else defend. I'm not really even, I don't really care that, you know, I'm using Ica to do the attack, even though I think it might do more damage with Enrique. That's okay. Um, but yeah, what I was saying before is I should use that crew member that gets me like full, there we go, he's dead. Full uh, spirit points at the beginning, but that's not gonna work for the first turn. It might be impossible to kill that guy in one turn. Okay, we got 1,100 gold. Yay. Okay, so actually what I was going to say, guys, I'm going to go this way. Okay, so we check that. Let's hit... Okay, so we can do sonar. Well, it, it, I think it tells us how much sonar we can still do. Let's go over here. I'm not even really looking about where I'm flying. Can I go up and... I can go up and down. That's cool. All right, let's go this way. And... Oh, no. Okay, so... Okay, so the only way I can get that other square is if I go down and then over, over a little further, right here. Use the sonar there. Whoopsie. Okay, so we use the sonar. Oh, there was nothing there. Oh, interesting. Okay, it took away some of the some of the question marks went away. Okay. Well, let's just fly around and use sonar everywhere then. Hopefully we can limit the amount of question marks that are going to pop up. Let's, oop, let's go back again. Let me use a sonar here. Oops. <laughs> Turn it around. I'm just pretty much looking at the mini map the upper right. Oh, you, oh, I didn't know you could go on the the, the, the spot here. Uh, the black spots. Let's go down lower. Okay. All right, don't move. All right, let's try the sonar there. All right. Oh, boy. A whole bunch of question marks. All right, let's turn around here. I think you could. I think if you do the sonar again on the question marks you've already clicked on, um, it can help get rid of the question marks. So there we go. See, one of the question marks disappeared, so that's good. All right, let's hit this spot here. I don't have many more shots. I can do it like three more times. Ugh. To get all the boxes, I'm going to have to do... One more. Oh, no, really? I'm going to go forward once. I'm going to use it again. Oh, if I use it one more time, though, will they make me go up? Oh, I don't know if they're going to make me go up, though. All right, so I got... Oh, my gosh. Am I allowed... I don't know if I'm allowed to do it one more time. All right, so I got to kind of... um Remember, I guess, where everything is or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to do sonar... Did I do sonar here last time? In this spot where I'm standing? I don't know. Let me go over one. Okay. I'm going to try it here, guys. Hopefully they don't make me go up. I don't know. Okay, I'm out of sonars. Okay, so okay, so we can't do any more. If I press that button again, it may make, make us go up. Okay, so there's still question marks here. Let's just try the one in the far upper right. Let's try this. I don't know a smarter way of doing this, really. Man, there's like 10 of those question marks. So, 
I'll probably just randomly fly around and try different spots. It's like Minesweeper, guys. I don't know if you guys remember Minesweeper. <laughs> I think, is it still packed? I don't know if it's still packaged with like Windows 10, Windows 11. Oh, Minesweeper is kind of a fun game. All right, so um, what I was going to say, guys, is well, we're going to do Ancient Cannon because he just got to. If I go to crew members, oh, I can't do it. I was going to say I could use Yurla because her thing will allow you to max out your spirit points. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I need to go back. There, I can do it now. Yurla, 15. We gotta wait for the, the this to end. There's no point though, because I'm gonna be able to kill the guy anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't need to use gear grease. Let's not even bother with that. Let's just hope that we can um hope that we can uh, kill this guy in just like those couple of shots. I don't think it's gonna work though. Hey, okay, try try the um the torpedo, but I don't know if using one of those attack items would be... Oh, we missed. So great. That means we're going to have to... I don't know. We might be able to kill him next turn. See if the secondary cannon at least hits. Okay, cool. That hit at least. But he's going to need to take one more hit from the secondary cannon and one hit from the primary. I hope we don't miss next turn. Otherwise, let's go to the third turn. Yeah, so the game developers, I mean, this is really cool. Like, this is really well, um, really cool looking, I say. But it's like, the gameplay, though, it's like, kind of, it's like, it's not super challenging. It's not, it's like the same enemy over and over again. It's a shame they couldn't have done more with this or something. I don't know. It's really cool, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. Would have been neat if they had different enemy types, you know, down here. We're not fighting the same guy over and over and over again. All right, so let's do Ancient Cannon, and then we'll try... Oh, can I do another Ancient Cannon? Oh, I can't. That's because I don't have a second cannon. Okay, so that's okay. We can do multiple shots, though, so that's one good thing. I have... You know what? Let's do this there. And then uh, she can just defend here, and then we'll do the secondary cannon here. So this should kill him, I think. As long as we can, as long as we can connect with the ancient can. Oh, he's gone in the dark. We can't even see him. Oh, we got him, anyways. Okay. Oh, look at that. He's got like one health point. Okay, one health point. Luminescence. All right. Oh, yeah. So, hopefully the torpedo connects. Oh, it actually doesn't matter. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Look at that. The torpedo missed. Okay, screw the torpedoes, guys. Not gonna be using torpedoes in Deep Sky. The cannons work alright, though. Another 1100 bucks. So, I don't know if there's actually an answer to this, or if, um... Let's try this one. Whoops. Oh, no! I didn't want to do this one! Ah! I was trying to do the one behind me. Am I gonna have to fight some? Oh, I have to fight somebody in the, even though there's nothing here. Crap. That sucks. Well, we'll get another 1100 bucks, so that's all right. Man, it's like, it's like, it's like I was trying to hold, I was trying to push on the brakes, but I didn't slow fast enough, and then I pressed the B button, and it's like, ah, I knew. All right. Let's do this. Let's have her just defend. Not a quicker animation, I don't know. Let's do, uh, yeah, definitely do secondary cannon. Cannons seem to have a better hit percentage than the, uh, torpedoes. Of course we miss. Of course we miss, guys. Of course we're gonna miss. It's hard to see anything. Oh, he got evasive action going, too. Man, it's annoying because it's like, oh, we missed again? Fantastic. It's annoying because it's like, I know there's nothing here. I know there's nothing to be picked up here, so... That was my bad, guys. This is really, it's like... This is really just trial and error. 
Um, I could try just going back up, guys. I could try going back up and then come back down. I could take like a screenshot and see what I've checked off so far. And then I could use the sonar more, assuming that Phoenix ship doesn't randomly appear at a certain block, you know? Um, if, it, if it's always in a certain block. Oh, I could have done another attack. Crap, I didn't do it though. Oh, and I missed. Oh, this is so annoying. It's so annoying, guys. Hmm, I can't save when I'm down here either. I'm really tempted to just go back up and then get uh, get 10 sonar shots again. Let's say I can take a screenshot. It's kind of cheating, I guess. I can take a screenshot of the sonar map of what I opened up and where I've gone before. There's a risk of doing that, though, guys, because I don't know if Phoenix ship randomly appears. Man, we just keep missing. This sucks. <laughs> I should have just used... I, you know what? I learned my lesson. I should have just used... Um, I think the, I think the best option, actually, is to do... Um, do the crew member thing where they, like, give you all the spear points. And then uh, I can just use uh, main cannon and secondary cannon, like, across all turns or all rounds or whatever. And I, then I could for sure probably kill him as long as the primary cannon hits within the second turn. I've just been had horrible luck though. It's just he keeps missing. All right, so let's try it again. We can do ancient cannon again. Oh, we can't do it. Yeah, because it's the second. Ah. All right. All right, so I've heard of Fen. I've heard of Fen. And now I'm going to use that secondary cannon across all this stuff. There we go. So hopefully this does it. This guy's so annoying. <laughs> this guy's so annoying. This is like the most annoying enemy uh, so far in Skies of Arcadia. And we missed again. Ugh. I don't think you can run away from this either. We're forced to fight this guy. This guy. Ugh. Death by a thousand cuts. We will need to heal soon though, guys. We're at like 60% health. This is the longest battle ever. I just, I've missed every time. I missed again. Wait, did we do primary cannon already? Did we miss with the primary cannon already? Jeez. We keep missing. He keeps doing evasive action. This guy is messing with me. There we go. That's the first hit. There we go. He's still got like 90% health though. <laughs> oh no, guys. Oh man. This is giving me a headache. Okay, come on. Come on, guy. I want Moonstone Cannon. Can I do Moonstone Cannon, please? Can I please do Moonstone Cannon? We missed again. We tried to shoot him. We missed again. Ugh. I don't know. We don't have enough points to do Urula, so... Oh, well. Do we have anything we can do? Ugh. Ancient Cannon. And we'll do, uh... Defend, Defend, and Secondary Cannon again. I will try. We need that ancient cannon to connect, guys. We really need it to connect. This is like just a long, drawn-out battle for no good reason. Okay, we gotta hit him. Okay, there we go. He's dead. We hit him with secondary cannon and ancient cannon. Same time, he gone. He's like, he's so easy to defeat. It's just, he keeps dodging. 1,100 gold, or he keeps running away and hiding. Deluxe kit, that's pretty good. That'll actually heal us. I do need to heal the ship. So let's heal the ship. Wait a minute, I need to go items? I need to like, wait, how do we heal the ship, guys? We can heal the ship out of battle, right? I think we can. Hey, no. I forget how it's done. Um, so I need to go to here and then items and then Sakri's crystal. And that's not gonna work. No, I need to go to, can I use a deluxe kit? Yeah, yeah, I can use a deluxe kit out of battle. There we go. All right, cool. There we go. Pretty much max health again. Um, right. Okay, good. All right, good. Um, okay, so what I want to do is, uh, oh, gosh, guys. Um, where do you think it would be, guys? I mean, we, we came in on the bottom right of the map. I'm guessing it's going to be one of these over here. So let's try this one. I could go up. I'm not going to go up, guys. I'm just going to 
push through. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. I'm going to do Yurala at the beginning of the battle. Because I think then I can get max spirit points. And then maybe we can kill the guy in the, for sure in the second turn. There's no way of knowing when he's just going to kind of fly into the darkness, though. That's what's annoying. All right, so, yeah. Let's do Yurala at the beginning here. Boop. And then everybody else, we just got to wait for our next turn, pretty much. Um, are you Can you run? No, you can't run. Okay, so we can't run away. Uh, can't do any other attack, so we're just gonna guard. Alright, just need to finish the turn. But this will max out our spirit points, so we'll be ready on the next turn. Boy, and boy, now I would love to have two ancient cannons. If I had more, more primary cannons, I'd do more damage. I don't know why I have two torpedoes. I mean, they can kind of be useful. A little bit of a strategy, different than the secondary cannons. I'm tempted to just outfit the Delphinus with... Like, at least two two secondary cannons and two primary cannons instead of any of those torpedoes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure there's a strategic reason to have torpedoes. I'm just not sure. So, I don't know if this is like... Like, we went into a... A battle, right? So I don't know if that means this wasn't the right square for uh, Fina's ship, or we'll find out after we defeat this guy if this was the square with Fina's ship. And I don't know. It doesn't. I don't know if there's like other treasure down here too. You'd think there'd be treasure at least, you know? Okay, finally, it's our turn. Okay, we got like 72 guys, 72 spirit points, but we can only use a cannon once because we only got one of them. But, um, we can just start shooting off, like, all this other stuff. Hit that there, and we'll have her do another torpedo here. And then we'll do this here, and he'll do it all the way across there. Alright, so we're just gonna completely, ob ho hopefully obliterate this guy. We just need that primary cannon to connect, though. Oh, he went into the darkness. We're gonna miss. I think we're gonna miss. Yep, we missed, because he went into the darkness. That's so annoying. <laughs> And I don't know if it's a pattern. Like, it, like I, I, th I don't think it's a pattern. If I try to do primary cannon at the beginning of the battle, he can still sometimes go into the darkness. All right, he came out of the darkness now. Maybe I should focus on using my primary cannon on like the second or third. No, that, that missed too. Okay, whatever. Oh, whatever, guys. I don't know. For some reason, we're having a lot more trouble hitting this guy now. First, first battle or two we fought this guy um, wasn't that bad, but he's like evading so much more now. I bet, I bet this is the only guy down here too. There's no other enemy types, unfortunately. But yeah, he was like he was really impressive at first, but now it's kind of you know worn off. Wow, we completely missed. Boy, I hate to say it, this is almost bad game design right here. Bad choices, like really, you're gonna make the player uh, randomly like trial and error and make them do this this exact same battle over and over again. Seems silly. All right, we're gonna do more torpedoes because you know why not? We can. Uh, let's do secondary can here. Cross all those turns. All right, so this is the third turn. Hopefully, uh, we can defeat him this time. Well, I think only one hit connected. Okay, of course he ran into the darkness, so the primary cannon's gonna miss. Oh no, the primary cannon hit him. Okay, <laughs> we shot him with like everything. So, like two of the two of the cannons missed. That missed. We're just like trying to shoot everything at this guy. I think a torpedo might have hit him. I don't know. He's like so close to being dead. Thank goodness he can't heal. He's got like one HP. We only need to hit him one more time with something. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Finally. I hope this is Fina's ship right here. Uh, oh. Okay, I, was, I thought there was going to be a cutscene. Yeah, it wasn't a cutscene. All right. Anything? Nope. I'm guessing maybe it'll, we'll find Fina's ship. Um, if we... Is there any any clue? You know, it's like I, if I look down, is that the trick? Like, could I see Fina's ship if I just look down? I don't think so, because it's like under the mud. 
I don't think it really matters. It's completely randomized. Let's well, let's try this one here now, guys. Uh, how are we doing on health? Delphinus is all right. Let's just roll with it, guys. All right, let's check this square. Nope, I guess it's the wrong square. That's okay. Ugh. I'm gonna time it. Let's see how long this battle takes. It is, uh... Alright, so it... Uh, I think each battle might be almost 10 minutes. It depends on how many times I keep missing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna do a full turn here where I just do that, though. So that's gonna take up some time. Is there no faster thing I can do? I can do focus. I do guard. Let's just do guard. Alright. I just wanna max out my spirit points, guys. <laughs> Yurla is so cool. I gotta use that more often during actual boss battles. You know what I bet? I bet we're gonna get Phoenix ship and then we're gonna have to fight the chameleon, possibly. Down here in dark, uh, deep sky. We'll see. That's so cool looking. They got some really cool animations in this game, for sure. We're just kinda Well, we went we went into the darkness too. We're kinda just working through our turns here and then we can get back to uh business here. I mean I you can almost kill him in the first turn, but uh, that's only if you don't miss. He keeps going in and out of the darkness, or keeps moving further and further away from us. i try that. He just went into the darkness, so I don't know if that's a clue. Like, we're supposed to, uh... Like, we're supposed to, uh... Know that he's about to come out of the darkness? I had no idea, guys. Alright, there we go. See, if we we, we... we would be able to defeat him here on this turn. Yeah, he just came back out. So, yeah, I guess... Oh, he, he went in the darkness again. Eh. Oh, okay. Never mind, we hit him anyway. Okay, so I guess that doesn't really matter. It looks like he's going in the darkness, but, you know, it, I don't know if that changes the hit percentage or anything. It might be all randomized. It's just like this whole dungeon area. It's all trial and error. That's how all these sky battles kind of go. Seems like. All right, so that's good. We, we, we missed there, but we hit him with the primary can. That's what really matters. So we should be able to defeat him. We're gonna start shooting some torpedoes, secondary cannons, same time. One more hit of anything. A torpedo or a secondary cannon will kill him. Man, we're gonna have to heal again after this battle. Fortunately, I have a lot of deluxe kits. Assessing damage, is that us? Just shoot the guy, come on. Are we out of our turns? Okay, now here we go. Hit him! Well, we, sh we shot everything at him. I was like, okay. And then he finally went down. Okay, cool. Well, there goes more torpedoes. Okay. Oh, yeah, we just gotta throw everything at this guy. All right, cool. 1100 gold. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna heal real fast. It's weird. You gotta go, like, under a, a player character. And then you go to the ship items. Then you go to the lost kit. And then you can heal the Delphinus like that. Let's just max out the Delphinus. All right, cool, we did that. I'm gonna try this square now. I'm guessing it's gonna be one of the squares. Oh man, I wonder if they let you do a square you've already done. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Guessing it's gotta be further. Oh, <gasps> you received one piece of vel velorium? Well, that's cool. So there is there is treasure down here. Okay, what the hell's velorium? <laughs> oh, thank goodness, so at least it wasn't a battle. <laughs> uh, oh, it doesn't say what it is. What? Is it treasure? Oh, here it is. A rare type of metal found in deep sky. It is many times stronger than normal steel. Huh. Are we going to need that for something, I wonder? I have no idea, guys. It's under treasure. What? Well, that's kind of cool. All right, so that wasn't what we wanted, though. I figured that her ship must be probably somewhere... 
far away from where we came down. Okay. Well, there are actually there's actually treasure down here. I'm not gonna go to every question mark square. Once we find our ship, I'm getting the heck out of here. Ugh. Okay, so that wasn't it. So now we know though, guys. If it's the correct square, it will um it will uh not put us in this battle with this guy again. I don't know. I'm assuming it's not the same guy. I'm assuming it's like a lot of these guys down here. All right, let's just do Yurla. I'll defend. There we go. Get to the next turn. I think this might be the most efficient way of defeating him because then we can do a whole bunch of attacks at once. Otherwise, it's like two attacks each turn turn and each attack you have a chance of missing and not finishing him off there's a better chance percentage wise i think probability wise of defeating him on the second turn if we just attack every single uh every single character attacks on the turn i think that's the fastest way the sure fastest way to kill this guy we just gotta wait to the second turn pretty much with maxed out spirit points. Unless I have like some other more powerful attack. I don't think I do though. Like I said, I could go buy a, another primary cannon. That would be, that would make sense. Actually, you know what? I should do that. I should do that probably. I should buy another, a second primary cannon. Because that, I think, would help me with the uh, boss battles more. Because uh, then I could use them in one turn. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to do what I always do here, guys. Then with torpedoes like that. The secondary cannon there across all the way. There we go. If I, if I didn't miss, you know. Like, I need to hit him three times, pretty much. With three different weapons. And then he'll go down. But really need that. Okay, good. We only need that primary cannon to hit. Okay, fantastic. Man, that one battle, like, two battles ago with this guy is so annoying. Because he kept dodging or evading or running behind in the darkness. It took way longer. It took, like, twice as long than it really needed to be. Ugh. I really wish that secondary cannon was a little, just a little bit stronger. Oh, here we go. Please, just do it. Oh, we missed. Okay, it's okay. We're, we got one more shot this turn, I think, with the secondary. And we got the torpedoes. We just gotta wait for him to take his next turn here. Okay. Alright, next turn here. I think there'll be torpedo and secondary cannon at the same time, maybe. Hopefully, either one of them hits him. He's way out there, though, in the darkness. There we go. Something connected. Might have been the secondary cannon. Torpedo missed, I think. Still see it flying in the background. All right, cool. We got him, though. Yay, another 1,100 bucks and, like, 600 uh, 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 experience points. Right, let's try this square now. Where's your ship, Fina? <gasps> Found something. What we get, guys? Oh, <gasps> cutscene. Fantastic. I think we found it, guys. Finally. The crane grabbed onto something. Pull it up. This device. I tried like half of the question marks. I don't know if it is randomized, guys. And they make you do like half of the question marks before this happens. I'm guessing that might be what it does, the game. I could check a guide afterward, though. Wow, that looks like her ship. I think that's her ship. Yeah, guys. Yeah, that's her ship. We did it! It's Fina ship! Yes, we did, guys. Great job! I can hurry up and get it on board. Aye, aye! Fantastic, guys. Fina, you'll finally be able to get home with this. Yes, thank you very much. This means that I'll have to leave you. Oh, no, Fina's leaving us. Enrique's leaving us. It's just gonna be, uh... Us and, uh... Aika. Oh, Fina, I... Ooh, ooh, ah! What was that? There was an explosion off the port bow! Vice, something's coming! It's DeLoco, isn't it? Yeah, there's a chameleon. I called it. I knew it. 
He uh, he outfitted it so he could go and oh, it's this guy. We hopefully this is it. We're gonna kill this dude finally. Hey, hey, hey I found you, Vice. He's so annoying. <laughs> I still haven't forgotten what you did to my ship, the Chameleon, at Ixtaca. Well, that was like so long ago. Holding the grudge, huh? This underworld will be your grave. I shall have my revenge. Revenge. That was a ship that Deloka was building at Dangrel. Ika, did you secure Fina's ship? Yes, it's on board already. All right, so let's just go. All right, all hands at to battle stations. Here's our chance to finally rid the world of that psycho. Visibility's poor, so it'll be hard to hit him when he's far away. Try and attack from close range. Close range, yeah. I, don't know. I have no control over the movement. I have no control over the movement, Vice. I can't control the movement when I'm in the sky battles. All right, I'm going to do uh, Yurla for sure at the beginning. Max out our spirit points. Uh, vice, vice, vice! The day for you to die is finally here. I'll destroy you and your ship and your crew, and and I'm um, I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can't do Moonstone Cannon down here. You know, it's, I don't know. Yeah. Let's just do Yurla there, and we're gonna do uh, defend all the way through and through, so we don't have any more points. Um, and I'll max out our spirit points. Okay, that won't hit us on the first turn, which is good, because the first turn we're using Yurla. And then we'll do the guarding and the evading. Yeah, I don't really even need the gear grease anymore. I can use Yurla, pretty much. All right, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I would I would have healed between battles. I didn't know I was gonna be dumped right into a boss battle though. I thought we might have had like a little bit of chance there. So I don't know what's gonna happen after this. If it's going to immediately like teleport us out of the dungeon area, like if there were more, if there was more treasure, I wasn't able to get it. I'd have to um come back for it. I'm not too worried about that though. We got one other thing. Now right, we're gonna need to heal once. I think this next turn. Oh, maybe more than that. Waiting orders. Oh, they missed. That's good. So he can fly down here, but I don't know if there's anything new about his ship. He's got like that flamethrower thing. Uh, Vice, the visibility is too poor. I can't see anything. I don't know what's going on outside. If the enemy ship is too far away, it will be impossible to see it through the clouds. We'll never be able to lock on with our cannons. Our only chance is to wait until the local comes close to us. Watch his maneuvering patterns closely. Yeah, I can't. There's nothing I can do. I mean, there is like sometimes they give you options. Like, let's go around the other side, or let's let's try to head him off. Let's play defense. But they're not giving me those options right now. All right, so we're maxed out on our uh, on our stuffs here. So I'm gonna go full out on this guy. I th you know what? No, I will heal. Um, do one hit of this here though. That I don't know if we're gonna get a chance to do the super cannon. You know. Um, I'm gonna have her heal us with a deluxe kit at the end, and then he can do the uh, secondary cannon all across the way. There we go. We're gonna need to heal. We're need. We're gonna need to heal more than the deluxe kit can heal us too. Oh, okay, good. We hit him. Good. 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 Looks like it, it looks like it almost takes four hits of the primary cannon to kill this guy. That's why I really do want to buy another primary cannon. Oh no. That's like a deluxe kit is equal to like 8,000 HP. Oh no, I hope I don't die. Please don't kill me. I gotta remember where Fina's ship was. I now know where it is, I think. On the grid. Oh jeez, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I need to really heal bad. I'm gonna use like three deluxe kits next turn if I get a chance. I do not want to die in this battle. I really don't want to die in this battle. Oh man. This would be bad. Target lost. Oh, we missed everything, really? Okay, the torpedo missed. I, I really don't think torpedoes are that great here. Okay, we healed. Oh, and he missed us, too, I think. I think he was trying to hit us. He had, like, two things coming at us, and he missed. Ooh, that was close. That was close, guys. Definitely going to do the ancient cannon, but I need to heal, like, right away. I'm going to do deluxe kit. I'm going to do another deluxe kit. We'll do it at the end. Do I, do I really want to wait that long, though? Let's do two deluxe kits there, and we'll have the uh, secondary cannon here across there, like that. I really don't want to die, guys. Okay, he's doing a torpedo, so that won't hit us right away. If it does hit us. All right, 
primary can. Oh, we missed. Crap. Oh, man. Alright, heal, 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 heal. Please heal. Oh, we need to heal bad. We need to heal bad. Alright, thank you. Alright, and heal. I'm gonna heal one more time after that. I really don't want to die. So, okay, we might not be able to... I guess you can't use super moves down here, so that's good to know. Wow, look at all that damage, guys. 15,000 points there. I think he still has got a torpedo that's coming at us. So, man. I need to do a lot more healing. Ugh. Focus. Well, you can't even see the guy. He's way out there. Yeah, so the good news is I don't think... He, if we can't do a super move, he can't. Oh, we missed again with the... I guess that was a secondary cannon. Alright. I'm gonna heal at the beginning. So I'm gonna do secondary... I'm gonna do the primary cannon there. Then we're gonna heal again. I need to heal twice. Heal again here. And have him do the... Uh, probably the secondary cannon here. Go all the way across again. I don't know if I have a better... I don't know if I have a faster healing thing other than the... Deluxe kits. I'll have to look at the crew member options. Alright, could we healed and he he missed, I think. Or we missed. I think we missed. We're trying the secondary cannon. This is gonna be a long drawn out battle. Alright, not too bad. I'm gonna heal again here eventually. Try to get my health back to max. There we go. Good damage. Nice. Oh, he's he's kind of sinking a little. Look at that. He's at like 10% health. Oh, no, really? No. We're never going to kill this guy. We got nothing for it, guys, because we didn't kill him. Oh. No, 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 no. How could the chameleon be defeated three times? Not one time, not two times, but three times. This can't be. This can't be. This is all just a dream. This is just an illusion. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> Admiral, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> He's got some trick up his sleeve, doesn't he? Uh, Admiral, are you all right? Mwahaha! <laughs> this time, dear little Vice, I prepared something special for you. It's not over yet, Vice. I still have one trick up my sleeve. Fire the Deloco Harpoon Cannon. Oh, he's got a Harpoon Cannon. What? No. Fudge! What was that? Mwahaha! I shall defeat you with a harpoon cannon, just like you defeated me. Oh, he's gonna drag us down with him, guys. He's gonna drag us down with him. I'll get you this time, Vice. I'll get you, I'll get you! Man, if, if he can sink below into the mud, he'd be stuck and that'd be the end of him, but... Jeez. Yeah, he's he's got us tied to him now. Okay, so he's not gonna be able to run away, but neither are we. You won't get away from me this time, Vice. No, no, no. I will kill you for sure. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, we're definitely going to want to heal, like, right away. Oh, we're low on... Oh, no. We're low on stuff now. Ugh. Oh. All right. We need to start over, basically. So, let's do uh, Yurula to get us our spirit points back there. And then I'm going to have us heal here. I really don't want to die, guys. I'm going to do Deluxe Kit here as well. And then, I don't know, whatever Enrique, he can do Defend there. He's shooting torpedoes. So now, this is going to be a different kind of battle, guys. Whoa, we're going to run into each other. Jeez. Uh, so it's, it's very unlikely either of us are going to ever miss again. So this is going to be probably a quick battle, actually. What the fudge? What happened there? What was that? It hit us with something. Like, I don't know if we can't do spells or something. Alright, so we got maxed out spirit points. So we're set for the rest of the battle, pretty much. Uh, gonna heal one more time. I think I'm gonna just have... I think I'm gonna do Deluxe Kit twice each turn. This is an interesting battle. Like, you know, this is actually kind of challenging. Much better gameplay than fighting that stupid Stingray thing. Okay, so... Man, we're gonna need to heal more, though. We're at about 75% health. Uh, Alright, okay. So, I don't know... 
Okay, so let's just do, um... Okay, we can do attacks. I'll attack there. I'm gonna have her heal us here. I'm gonna have her heal us again. Here, and then I'll have him do the secondary cannon here. There you go. I really don't want to die. I think I think the good news is, guys, if we did die, I think they might just make us repeat the battle. I don't think they're gonna make us like do the whole find Phoenix ship again at the sonar mini game thingy. Uh, I think we just they just restart us at the battle, even though I haven't been able to save. So that hopefully that's what would happen. But I'm really scared. I don't want to get game over now. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I heal like twice each turn. Oh no, I don't like the looks of that. Pyres. Oh, that was just a, a fire spell. Didn't do that much damage. It's a regular fire spell. All right, he can't get away. Look at that. Okay, he's got like all his health back though. Like somehow, between those turns, like he, between the cutscene there, he got all his health back. How annoying. All right, I think we'll heal now. All right, there we go. We lost with the secondary cannon. All right, so it should be the next turn now. So we go again. All right, I'll do the primary cannon. Doing pretty good with the healing. I'm gonna keep using these deluxe kits though. Uh, Cause I really don't want to die. I do the exact same thing as last time, pretty much. There we go. Yeah, there must be something about deep sky that you just cannot use your super cannon. Even though he was able to use like a harpoon cannon, which seems so unfair. Wow, there we go, guys. We hit him with the secondary cannon and the primary cannon at the same time. That's why we did 11,000 points of damage. <laughs> 340 HP damage, that was like nothing. I'm gonna heal again. Okay, we're max health and we hit him again. Okay, he's, he's, he's like back down to about 15% health. We almost got him. Okay, I can start feeling a little cocky now. We might be able to defeat him next turn. I can just throw everything at the guy. It's red max health. Oh, he's almost dead. One more hit of anything and he'll be gone. But what I'm concerned about is he's gonna drag us down. See, he's got that harpoon on us. So, whoa, he did 11,000 points of damage. Thank goodness we've been healing. <laughs> and we're just about to heal. Perfect, perfect. Okay, great. Man, we lost him because he got behind us there. We would have probably killed him if we had a shot there. Okay, so we got one more turn. To kill this guy. Uh, he's he's going down, guys, for sure. I will do a healing at the very end here, just to be safe. But I think we got this guy. Uh, I think he's good as dead. There are no rounds left to enter commands. What? Please redo the other characters' commands. Oh well, we're out of we're out of uh, torpedoes. Is that the problem? I haven't run into that before. There are no rounds left. Wait, what? I don't think I've ever run into that problem before. There are no rounds left. Oh wow, okay, so that they actually do wear out. That's why you need to, okay, so I have another torpedo. There we go, oh, there are no rounds left. Well, why would I have two torpedoes? Oh crap, okay, well that's stupid. All right, well fine, let me just do, um, I can do this with her here. There are no rounds left to enter commands. What's going on here? What? I'm gonna have her just defend us there, I guess. There are no rounds left to enter commands. Please redo the other character's commands. Huh, I'm confused. Oh, gang, don't do this to me. What's going on here? Defend? I guess I had to go there first. Is that what's going on? All right, fine, whatever, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm a little confused about what that message was about, but it doesn't matter. We almost got him dead now. Here we go, point blank range. Boop, he's dead. Please be dead forever, DeLoco. I'm done with you, guy. This is like the, we fought this guy like three times. I guess that's actually four times now, right? We have 4,000 4, experience, but it wasn't gonna be exactly 4,000. It's gonna be 3,988, so yeah. I, and how much gold we get from this guy? 4,000 maybe? 5,000? 6,000? Holy my, oh, we're still going guys. 7,000 gold, fantastic. Okay, that was worth it for sure. We did not level up though. Oh, Vice is 25 experience points from leveling up. He's so close, guys. Next battle, he'll be leveled up. We got a Captain Stripe, a Twin Turbo, so that's some sort of a engine thing. I don't know if I want to use that. And Magic Shell? Interesting.
some sort of magic defense item, I guess, for the sky battles. Man, we need to cut that harpoon. Oh, I guess it's already been cut. Okay, I thought he was going to bring us down with him. <laughs> hot, hot, hot! Hot, hot, hot! Somebody help me! Somebody tell me this is just a bad dream! Oh, finally. Okay, we defeated him. So, Gregorio's gone. Deloco's gone. We still have Glacian, Ramirez, um, Belizia, and that one guy, I forget his name. Uh, v v v Vigoro, I think that's his name, Vigoro. So there's still uh, four bad, four main bad guys in the game, I think we gotta defeat. Uh, it looks like that's the end of Bubblehead. Yeah, that was a tough fight. If we took on too much damage, we would have been stuck down here, says Vice. Well, we retrieved Fina's ship. Let's go back up. This place gives me the creeps. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't know. There might have been more treasure, guys. Oh, oh, well, we could do it. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Let's just go back up. Or should I do it? Maybe we should just check, guys. There might be more treasure down here. Uh, let's just try it. There might be more treasure. I mean, it's going to be a few more battles. Yeah, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I want... I'm sorry, guys. I want all the treasure. I want all the treasure. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. So there... I'm guessing there's at least one or two more treasure down here. But that means there's going to be probably about another four or five battles with this guy. Okay, that's okay. Uh, our health is good. Not worried about the health. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just do what we normally do. Let's do Yurla. All right, and we'll just defend. Just in case. So that's weird. I was thinking, guys, that um, when we were fighting to Loco, that because um, he had the harpoon cannon on us, if he would have drug us down into the mud or something, and um, there would have been like a cutscene for that. I don't know if the game developers were kind of planning on a little bit extra story there or another cutscene, or they ran out of development time or whatever. This is kind of near the end of the game, although I don't know if they developed this part of the game, you know at the end of the development cycle, or if it was earlier on, or just concurrent really with everything else. But it seems like that that's sort of weird. Like, how did we unhook ourselves from his thing, from his harpoon can? Well, I guess we're to assume DeLoco is now finally gone. <laughs> I mean, they sunk into the mud and he's forever gone now with his uh, vice captain. All right. Okay, our turn. All right, so let's do Ancient Cannon. Let's do the Torpedoes. Bombs away, guys. Bombs away. Use the girls for those. And then uh, have him do that secondary cannon. All right. Hopefully we hit him with a primary... He, we, uh, we hit him with a primary cannon. And then... Um, oh, he missed. This is going to take longer because we missed with the primary cannon. Man, that looks so much worse than... His, it's like all the enemy attacks, they look so much worse than they really are. Oh, he missed again? Oh, man. Okay, now I kind of just want to go back up and leave Deep Sky here. We just keep missing. I'm not gonna go through all this. All right, that's fine, guys. It's all right. Uh, we got one. We got one really interesting treasure, which I guess we can sell it for money. I mean, we don't even need money. So I think I'm gonna go up after this, because this is just like ridiculous. These battles are like there's not much going on really. It is really cool the first few times. Don't get me wrong, but uh. It's just like this constant missing. Like, okay, we hit him once. There we go. Now he's at 50% health. Because we shot him with both uh, secondary cannon and... I'm going to hit him with that. I'm going to hit him with the... Uh, uh, that. This here. Whoops. Nice to work there. The secondary cannon. There we go. All right, there we go. All right. Hopefully this will kill him. 
It's funny though, because when I finish this battle, I know I'm gonna be kind of tempted to go check the other squares. Oh, we, oh, look at that. 13, almost 14,000 points of damage, guys. That, like, I think he has 15,000 points of, of health or something. Oh, we leveled up Vice. He's at 40, guys. Enrique's 39. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Deluxe kit. Okay, I'm tempted to go check the other areas, guy. Guys, <laughs> I gotta do it. Wait, what's the square? What's this X for? Oh, there was, like, treasure there. That's what that was. Um, let me go into here. I need to heal the Delphinus. First thing I'm gonna do is heal the Delphinus uh, with a deluxe kit. There we go. Boo. That's good enough. Um, I wanna check Vice now, guys. What is he? Is he Vice the Brave? Vice the Respected? I think he was right. <laughs> I think he was Vice the Respected before. Okay, can we, can we do the next super move? Oh, no, we can't. Man, what level does he have to be at for that to happen? Maybe we have to be so far progressed in the game. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have another super move. I have no idea. All right, let's go check these other squares. I'm, I, I, I gotta know, guys. I gotta know. I'm gonna try this one here. Let's look down. Uh, nothing. All right. All right, let's do it. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six more squares. One of them at least has to be a uh, treasure. So, no, it can't be any more than five more of these battles with this guy, so. I'm gonna push through it, guys. I'm gonna push through it. I'm gonna push through it, guys. We're gonna find this, we're gonna fi figure all this out. I'm not a completionist, but I'm gonna push through it just for you guys. For you guys, I'm gonna do it all. All right. No, actually, I can't do that. We need to do Yurla. Right, I think we. I think that's a smart thing. I think that's a smart thing, guys. I don't know. I'm really curious to see what the other, if there's other, what other treasures there are. I, I certainly hope there's at least one more treasure. All right. Is it our twin yet? Is it our twin yet? I see that would have been per. Oh, now I, now I went back in the darkness. I think I'll be able to hit him here because he went into the darkness, which means he's about to come probably back out of the darkness. I always do the exact same thing each time. I don't know if it's help working or not. They didn't really explain why we can't use Moonstone Cannon down here. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Maybe because of the pressure? I don't know. Yeah, thank goodness, guys. We hit him with the primary cannon. It has something to do with the, the really high pressure down here. For some reason, we can't do it. But it doesn't make any sense, because DeLoca was able to use his harpoon cannon thing. Which is what we used to have on the Little Jack at the beginning of the game. The smaller ship we had. Oh, really? The guy's got, like, 0.1 health points. <laughs> 0.1 health points. Uh, we gotta hit him, though. Otherwise, we go on to the next turn, because... Uh, Missing is like basically zero, zero, zero health point damage. So, all right, I think we might have a couple more shots maybe for the next turn. Oh, he's behind us. We're not gonna be able to hit him if he's behind. Oh, he's in the dark too. I can't see nothing. Are you not gonna hit him? Are we? Okay, we we shot everything at him and they all missed. Torpedoes missed, the secondary cannon missed. Oh, jeez. How annoying, yeah? All right, I don't even care anymore. We're gonna kill this guy this turn, for sure. I mean, we can't possibly miss all these times.
You know, I don't know if it even really... Uh, I was just thinking like... Oh, wow, everything missed there, guys. <laughs> everything missed. The torpedo, the secondary cannon, the primary cannon. Everything missed there. That's amazing. Everything missed. Um... I don't know if I need to do Urala at the beginning, actually. I mean, may I don't know what's faster. I think there's a better chance of killing him faster if you do do Urala. There we go. He's dead. At the beginning with the plus... With the maxed out spirit points. Because there's no way to defeat him the first time. Okay, we got the Lux Kit. That's pretty good. Let's check the next square here. Make sure I don't accidentally go somewhere I don't want to go. All right. It has an X on it. You can already see an X on it, which means it's an enemy. See, when you click on the square, I guess it immediately turns to, um, like, what's there on the square. Uh, so it was a silver X, which means there's a battle to be fought, I think. All right, so... You know, I'm, let's try it this way, guys. Let's do that, and let's do... Let's have her defend us. Her defend us. Actually, I do need to heal. Might as well heal while we're in battle. Why not? And then we'll do the secondary cannon here. Oh, fantastic. I'm so happy that that connected. It just feels nice to, like, get some damage in him on the first turn. We're probably going to miss here because he went in the darkness. Oh, no, he came back out, and then he goes back in again. It's like, you know, it's completely, completely randomized. Can't see him. You're gonna miss. Can't see him. We missed. It's okay. We might hit him on the next turn. We get two shots. Uh, since we since we did hit him with the primary cannon, though, a hit from... Uh, well, we still need to shoot him two more times, I guess. But one shot with the primary cannon will kill him, though. So there's a chance we could kill him next turn. I could also use items, you know. I don't know if those would actually... You know, now is the time to use the items. But I don't know if the item attacks, like the bombs and stuff. I don't know if those have a chance of missing as well, though. I could try it. Because I don't ever plan on using them really any other time. As the healing. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's no more attacks in this turn. I'm going to definitely do the primary cannon, because I want to hit him. Raja. Um... Yeah, so we could try that. Just something else to try. Uh, so that's like, um... Oh, I don't even have them anymore. I sold everything. <laughs> I sold them, I think. We got Magic Shell. Barrier against magic attacks for one turn. Huh. Developed by a Master Magician. Cute. Yeah, we don't actually have any weaponry here. I guess not. No, we don't. Oh, well. Never mind. Can any of these guys do attacks? Having him in... Okay, these are just, like, static uh, effects. Having him active will increase chance of finding expensive items. Okay. All right, so no. Um, actually, we could do a torpedo, couldn't we, guys? Let's do that. And then we'll have her defend us in the last turn. And then uh, secondary cannon here. Try that. I mean, I could have done secondary cannon twice. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. We only need to hit him one more time, I think, yeah? Yeah, okay, he's dead. Cool. Gonna be an expert fighting this guy. You know, this guy is really start... He was, like, really starting to annoy me, but now that I know that I'm getting near the end, like, there's only, like, at most four more of those guys. Uh, I'm actually kind of enjoying it now. I don't know. All right, let's try this one. Oh, it's a silver X, guys, so it's not our battle. Oh, well. That's okay. Oh, no, it's not. It's an item. You received one piece of Velorim. So that must be like a valuable item. So the, the, the square turned silver X, but now it turned red X. So, okay. All right, so there's at most three more battles. There's probably three more battles. I'm guessing there's three more battles. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. Uh, so there was two treasures and then Phoenix ship. And I'm guessing these are just all battles. We'll do them anyway. Just three more and we'll be done. You know, as long as I can count the number of battles on my on one hand, you know. It's like, I know there's an end to this coming up, finally. 
Alright, so let's enjoy this, right? There's only a few more of these guys. Um, Ancient Cannon. I'm not even gonna do Yurla. I just wanna attack this guy, like, right off the bat. <laughs> uh, defend, defend, and then, uh, Secondary Cannon. I don't know if it'd make- if it'd be smarter to spread out the attacks, you know? Like, if- if- if, the, if there's a chance that if you miss on one turn, the very next turn, you won't miss, you know? You know what I'm saying? So... Maybe I should spread the attacks out. Like the first attack, the first shot is an attack, and then the second is defend. The third is an attack. The fourth is defend. I don't know. But that could not work out for you, though, right? Because you could end up missing two times in a row. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the, how this is how this is programmed to work exactly. I, I know it's definitely a probability sort of a system, though, for sure. Like a random number generator or something. That's, see, that's what it feels like, at least. Alright, we didn't defeat him this turn. That's okay. He's almost dead. One more hit with the primary cannon will kill him. Two hits with the secondary cannon will kill him. I think we're going to be able to use the secondary cannon twice. And the primary cannon once. Yeah, so I definitely need to... I'm going to make a note of that, guys. I want to buy another primary cannon. That would make this battle go faster, I think. That's okay. Um, I'm going to have her just... Def we're going to have the girls defend. Because I want to do that secondary cannon twice here with uh, Enrique. But yeah, I want to make a note of that, guys, actually. I want to buy another... Buy another uh, primary cannon. Oh, there we go. We got him, guys. Fantastic. Okay, cool. That was actually pretty quick. That was pretty quick, guys. All right, so maybe only two more battles. Or maybe there's more treasure. I kind of doubt there's more treasure. We got soundproofing? What is that? What the hell is soundproofing, guys? We got soundproofing for our, our ship? Let me go take a look at the Delphinus real quick. Soundproofing. So the Blueheim figure, that's magic defense. Uh, the compound deck is physical defense, and then the goddess figure is magic defense as well. Um, let's see here. So we got twin turbo. That just increases our quick, pretty much. Soundproofing increases defense. Blocks annoying engine noise from a for a better night's sleep, reducing fatigue on long trips. Wow, it increases our defense, though. That would be useful. So is that better than compound deck? No. All right, so it actually is no better. <laughs> All right, we just sell it. What else do I hit? I don't have any other weapons, okay. What was the other thing I had? Oh, Twin Turbo, yeah, I don't want that. I'll just sell it, probably. Uh, health is okay. All right, let's move on. All right, so there's maybe two more battles. Because I'm guessing there's not gonna be any more treasure. But that's okay. Just a couple more battles, guys, with this guy. All right. Yeah, there's probably, because there, there was a treasure on one side of the map, and then the, we found the treasure on this side of the map. And then we found Phoenix ship on the bottom part of the map. So, yeah. I'm guessing there's no more treasure. I don't know how much the treasure is even worth. And then the funny thing is I don't even need the treasure, really. I don't need the money. But I do want to buy a better cannon. Um, I mean, buy a second cannon. And I can afford it. That's not a problem. I think the best cannon is at Yafutama. So I'll probably go back there to buy it. Uh, and stock up on healing items again, I guess. Oh, we missed. That sucks. Since we missed with the primary cannon, um, it's gonna take longer to defeat this guy. Um, there's a chance we can still defeat him in the second turn if we hit him. Oh, he missed again. That's not good. Okay, we need to hit him, like, with every... We need to hit him three times next turn. And we're only going to be able to attack him three times next turn, I think, so... Yeah, this is probably going to go to a third turn, unfortunately. And I have no control over that because it's completely randomized. So the, uh, let me, just a little bit of a review of this game. The, the music is cool, the, the sound effects are fine. 
the uh, the animations are awesome. The graphics are really good. Um, and the gameplay is pretty good, but I don't know. It's like the way it's, I don't know, the way it's designed, it could be more fun. I remember when I, I remember reading the, um, the game, uh, was it Game Pro magazines? And one of their review, uh, criteria, it was like, I think it was controls, graphics, sound, and fun facts. I think those are the four things they had back in the 90s in the Game Pro magazine. And they'd rate games based on that. And they give it like like one through five points, or maybe it was zero through five points for each thing. So you could get a maximum of, I guess, 20 points. Um, I'd rate the controls as, you know, the controls are fine. Although controls could be, could include gameplay. But I'd say fun factor in this game, hmm. I don't know, if I had to rate fun factor this game, I'd probably rate it at maybe a 3.5, maybe a 4 out of 5. It's been a pretty fun game. It's just it's just when th these battles, they kind of drag it down a little bit. The battles are really cool. Like, they look cool, though. I like, I like seeing the battles. I like watching the battles, kind of. But the gameplay, it's like you, say, you spend more time watching the animations than you do actually... Uh, I guess that's what I wish this game had more of, was like a little bit more control over things, or maybe a little bit more strategizing or something. Cause it's like, they do have some strategy, of course, with the sky battles, but I just kind of wish there was more, like I, I got more turns. I, I didn't have to watch this long animations. I guess that's it, I don't know. All right, so, so I want to get back to the gameplay, you know? I don't want to be having to watch these long animations. I would try again here, see if we can kill this dude. I think we need to hit him twice with a secondary cannon or once with the prime. Well, once with the primary, we'll kill him. Of course, he goes in the dark for everyone who's supposed to use the primary. Okay, good. And he killed him anyway. That didn't matter. All right, so one more battle with the guy. So, uh, say goodbye to the stingray because uh, we're only going to get to see him one more time, guys. I don't think he's going to show up anywhere else in the game. All right, so this is the last question mark box. Is it treasure? Is it an enemy? I bet it's an enemy. I bet it's the stingray, dude. Yep, okay. Yep, so we found all the treasure, guys. There was two treasure, and there was, um, Venus ship. Which makes sense, because like I said, we found treasure on the left side of the map, the right side, and then this Venus ship was in the, in the south part of the map. There was nothing on the north. Alright, last time with this dude. Let's enjoy it. Let's savor it, guys. Let's savor it. Let's savor it. Uh, boop, boop, Enrique, boop, boop, boop. Okay. Oh, I think we're gonna hit him. Yeah, see, he he didn't run away, or he wasn't hiding. Now he's running away. <laughs> Hasn't even hit. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so this battle shouldn't be very long at all. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill him though with one hit from the secondary can. He he's he he went into the darkness though, so we're gonna miss him probably. Oh, and he's got evasive action, so yeah, not gonna be able to kill him like this. Oh, we hit him. That's amazing. I didn't expect that. We, sh it's like a shot in the dark, literally. All right, but he still need, he still needs to be hit one more time. So any hit from anything will kill him. I thought I had more of those bombs and stuff. I guess I sold them. The funny thing is they weren't really worth much. They're like worth a hundred bucks or something. A pop for sale, selling them. They don't do much damage though. I think they maybe did like a thousand points of damage anyway. Would have been cool if the attack items did more damage in the game. In the sky battles. Alright. Uh, you know what? We really don't... That's a, You know... We only need to hit him one more time. There we go. That that maximizes our chances of hitting him, right? We, 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 get, we get to shoot him like over four turns there. All right, so then we just defend, right? There's nothing else we can do. Just defend, defend, defend. I think we only need to hit him once with the secondary cannon. I think, I hope. So I'm not doing the primary cannon here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's dead. There we go. All right, bye-bye, Mr. Stingray. Nice knowing you. We fought this. How many times did we fight that guy, guys? It was like... 20 times it felt like forever oh we leveled up fina that's a great way to end in that yeah i
final. Okay, there's no one else to fight. We're done. I could actually drop the anchor or whatever, the claw, but I, and it might actually t put us into a battle. I'm not going to do that to you guys. Uh. Okay, so yeah, to heal, you got to go to a player character. Let's heal. I'm going to go to... Uh, actually, you know, if we sleep somewhere, I think we get all the health back anyway and that could save on the you know let's not do it let's just well i could just buy deluxe kits anyway they're not expensive there we go we'll do it once actually let's do it twice just to be just to be safe in case we have another battle after this because i don't know guys i don't know if we're gonna have like another battle after this when we try to get out of here so how do we leave do we just rise up let's go up like get us out of here yeah i'm going up okay i just went up Ooh, whoa, this is cool. Can I fly around in here? Oh no, I didn't see this before. I don't think we can. Wow, this is scary. Oh man, I don't know. I, can we? Oh, I don't think we can fly around here. I think we're gonna just leave. What is that in front of me? I see something over there. What is that? I can't go over and touch it. I don't know. Wow, this is like so scary. <laughs> it's so scary. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go back up. It might be just the polygons clipping, guys. I think it was just the polygons clipping. I thought I saw a structure or something, but I think it was just the polygons clipping. All right, let's get out of this. Hopefully there's nobody waiting for us at the top. Going up, guys. There we go. All right, so I guess we gotta go back to Crescent Isle. My guess. Oh, they don't even tell us where to go. All right, so I think we need to go to Crescent Isle. Let's just go up. All right, so that was deep sky, guys. So let's go to Crescent Isle now. Let me take a little map. Yeah, so it's over here. And then I could also go to Yafutama and... Um, I also want to get another primary cannon. What cannon do I have equipped right now, actually? I have the ancient cannon. I think, yeah, Futama sells the ancient cannon. I'm going to want to check the, uh, sh I think there is a ship merchant, uh, Chasm or somebody on, I think it's Chasm, on the, at, at Crescent Isle. Uh, so I want to see if he has a better primary cannon. And if he does, I'll buy that. I don't think he does, though. Because I would have bought it. So I want to probably, I probably want to buy one more, uh, ancient cannon. And maybe, I guess, sell my second torpedo. Because it'd be awesome to do the primary cannon twice in one turn. I don't know why I never thought about doing that. I think that just makes the most sense. Especially when I use, um... You know what? I'm kind of... Actually, I think it'd be nice to have three primary cannons. So I can use it three times in one turn when I'm not near a uh, Moonstone cannon option. Uh, there's the, there, there it is. Oh, wow, I didn't even have to check the map. There's the uh, Crescent Isle. Oh, I'm tempted to buy three primary cannons. I don't know. I have to think about it. Vice, do not return to Crescent Isle. I beg of you. Why, Enrique? What? <laughs> if I go back now, I'm afraid that my determin determination will falter. I cannot allow myself to do that. What? What? What's going on? Oh, we got. Do we have to fly Enrique to to Valua? Is that what we're supposed to be doing here? I'm so confused. Wait, he wants to go to Valua. Is that what's going on? Okay. Well, I can't go there. Well, then let's just go. Okay, I'm gonna go to. Ooh, look at that. There's the Rainbow Island thing. That was the discovery location. Well, I'm gonna go to Yafutama then, because uh, I want to get another primary can. I'm thinking. Of, I don't know if I want three primary cans. I guess we need to drop Enrique off at, at, uh, at Value or something. I guess I could go talk to the crew on the bridge to see, like, where I'm supposed to go now. Oh, right, yeah, your food is most straight ahead. There it is. Nice drop down. All right. I'm gonna go to the ship merchant here and buy another. Uh, I, I think that I think this is where I bought the ancient cannon. So I'm gonna buy another ancient cannon. Actually, I don't think I need any healing items, so I'm not gonna go all the way back to get the healing items. I'm just gonna go to the ship merchant right here. Yeah, he was telling us about uh, Mount Kazai too. 
Uh, not only did you folks manage to rout that black steel fleet, you crushed the monstrous bird as well. Well, wonders never cease. I thought they, these guys, <laughs> I thought these guys worshipped that bird. Oh well, the blueheim or whatever, um, the the blue gigas. I don't suppose my mer uh, my merchandise is of much interest to you folks at the moment, but you might still want to take a look around. Yeah, please let me buy stuff. Please let me buy stuff. Uh, oh, it's a Yamoto spirit. Okay. No, that's not as good as the ancient cannon. So I guess I need, I guess the ancient cannon sold by Chasm at the, uh, Crescent Isle. Crap. So I can't buy it now. All right. Well, I can sell some stuff. Let's just sell some stuff and then get out of here. I'm gonna sell the twin turbo. I'm gonna sell the soundproofing. There we go. Uh, that's fine. I'll keep the other stuff. Why not? I have almost 75 grand, guys. Haven't had this much money since I had to grind to get a uh, hundred thousand to progress the game at Crescent Isle. I'll just get out of here. All right, so I think we're good. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I could. Oh, wait a minute. It, wait, 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 wait a minute. Was he selling? Uh, was he selling deluxe kits? I can go ahead and stock up on deluxe kits. Yeah, he does. Okay, let's stock up on the deluxe kits. There we go. Wow, look at that. We maxed out the deluxe kits and uh, only cost like eighteen hundred bucks. Is there only 75 pop? Might as well max out gear grease too. Rudder grease improves rudder operation and slows the rate of spirit consumption. Well, that sounds kind of cool. You know what? Let's buy some of those. I don't know if I use that many. And there's the concussion bombs. They don't really do that much damage. So I have 47,000. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go. All right, let's go to, I, I guess, Valua, guys. I guess we're going to Valua with um, Enrique? That's my guess. I had no idea. I'll, I'll ask the uh, the crew members when I get back to the, on the ship, Delphinus. I'll go to the bridge and talk to them. Because I think they'll give us a clue as to where I'm supposed to go. Let me just fly up here and get above the sky so I don't have to deal with the, uh, the dark rift. Okay, so, um, bridge. Let's go to bridge. Oh, hey, Spikers1211 uh, on uh, Twitch. You missed this game? Played the mini game during road trips. Which mini game is that? What, you, what mini game are you speaking of, uh, Spikers on Twitch? Uh, let's see. I want to talk to Aiko. I guess we have to stay, but say our goodbyes to Enrique once we get back to Sailor's Isle. I hate goodbyes. Okay, we need to go to Sailor's Isle. That's where we need to go, guys. That's right. Enrique mentioned that. Enrique will at last be able to return to his homeland. Guess we're gonna lose Enrique. Mogi doesn't want him to go. Vice, I, I know that I am a member of this crew and my loyalties lie with you, but there is a part of me that wishes we never reached Sailor's Island. I have a feeling that something bad's gonna happen to Enrique. Uh-oh. She's probably right. Where's Enrique? He's not even up here. Let me go try to find him. What's Robin doing? Building that great cloud sea engine was the hardest thing I've done in a long time. My back still hurts for all that hard labor. I never thought I'd see an engine that powerful in my life. You'd never guess that I'm 147. Whoa, this guy's old. Um, let me go see if I can find Enrique. We may not be able to talk to him much more. Uh, let's see here. Where would he be? I have no idea where Enrique would be. I think this takes us... Oh, uh, he might be actually out this way. I think this takes us out onto the deck. Or like a, a lookout post or something. He might be up here. I don't know. He was in the bridge last time. Okay, so we need to go to Sailor's Isle to continue with, uh, I guess, his story. Or maybe to finish his storyline. Oh, he's not up here. Weird. He is on the ship, I think. He's in our the crew, I think. Wow, uh, that's like the longest... The long, I think I've said it before. That's like the longest ladder ever. Okay, there we go. Whew, a lot of rungs. All right, so yeah, he is with us. We got Enrique with us. Let's go try checking. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> that scared me. I was worried the door wasn't gonna open. Okay, cool. Okay, let's go down in here. Maybe he's in like the main, um, the ballroom or whatever I will call it. They're here. Or does I wonder if he has his own bedroom or something. I haven't really walked around the ship in a moment. Can I look at this painting? Oh, yeah, cool. There's a ship there. Uh, that's a merchant lady. Oh, there's Ishmael. 
Oh wow, we got a bar. I haven't really talked to the people that I've been collecting up. Uh, when I first met Enrique, all I ever saw him do was throw up all over the side of the ship. Now he's become quite a sailor. I'm impressed that he's got the nerve to go back to Valua. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk to her. Yurla. Oh yeah, she's the one who gives us all the spear points. Uh, um, I want to make all of Enrique's favorite dishes for him before he leaves. I hope he and Mogi can spend some quality time together before he has to go. Can I, can I get back there? I guess not. I can't see anything back there. It's funny because I think I think that all the all the wall textures are uh, 2D <laughs> 2D wall textures. The mini game with a dream, Dreamcast version getting uh, Fina's weapon upgrade. Oh, I don't think I've seen that. Uh, spikers on a. Uh, which? Wait a minute. So there's nothing else here. Wait a minute. There's more to the ship, though. Uh, let me go this way. See if we can find Enrique. Yeah, I didn't know about that mini game, uh, Spikers on Twitch. There's, there's like other side quests I've not done as well. I think I might have missed out in this game because I'm just I'm playing it for the first time and I'm not using a guidebook or anything. I've done a couple side quests, though. Uh, whoa, what is this? We're going outside, guys. Oh, wow, look at everybody out here. Okay, there's Chasm. Can I buy stuff from you now? All right, man, make sure to load those cans properly. I want those things ready to kick some value in butt at a moment's notice. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Thank you. Can talk to these guys? Oh, we can. Chasm's Gunner. Leave the Delphinus cans to us, sir. Huh. Don't worry, Captain. We'll make sure that the cannons are always ready to go. <laughs> they polishing the, the cannons. Oh, there's Enrique. Okay, we'll talk to him in just a second. Well, can I mess with this thing? What is that? It's a talking tube. This one is connected with the bridge. Ica. This is the bridge. Over. Oh, it's you. Quit playing around. Get back here, Vice. I'll be there in a moment. Looks like um, Marco's swabbing the poop dick. I wonder why Enrique's going back to Valua. Well, he is the prince. He wants his kingdom back. I will miss sailing with you and your crew, Vice. I hate to admit it, but I'll even miss Ika constantly teasing me too. Well, I will be back, hopefully soon. All right. Okay, okay, we're taking him to, uh, but we gotta go to Sailor's Isle because he wants to get his own ship. Um. I guess with his own money, which I'm not giving him anything. I'm not giving him my money. <laughs> I need to buy more primary cannons. I need more primary with cannons on my ship. All right. And yeah, we went with the cat. Uh, went with the cat flag there. There's a couple options. Vice's option was pretty cool too. It was a um, it was a sword or something. Sailor's Island is mid-ocean, right? So, Captain, do you want to take the wheel now? Yeah, I'll take the wheel. Well, then, I'll be relaxed downstairs in the mess hall. I leave the ship in your hands, Vice. Let's do this. Let's go to Sailor's Isle. Okay. Ooh, that don't sound so good. <laughs> All right, so Sailor's Isle is just north of, um... That's Dangro Isle. There, or no, wait. No way? Yeah, is that it? Oh, that's Sailor's Isle. It's, it's actually a quite a ways north of... I forgot about that of Pirate Isle. I think what you had to do is you had to actually go underneath this um, cliff uh, thing here to get to it, if I remember correctly. That had me so confused at the beginning of the game because he couldn't go through the Sky Rift with the... Um... Oh, we did have a ship before the Little Jack. Is that right? I'm trying to remember. Maybe we did. I, I forget. It's been a while. I think we did. I think we had uh, Vice's dad's ship or... No, it wasn't Vice's dad's ship. It was like his own ship or something. So we have had like four different ships in this game, I think. We had the, the ship Vice had at the beginning of the game. And then we had uh, the Little Jack. And then we had Gilder's ship. And now we have the Delphina. So I guess we've gone through four ships in the game so far. Yes, we're going to, uh, we need to go to Sailor's Isle here. For Enrique. Let's take a little map here. Just straight ahead, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mogi thinks there's something bad going to happen. We'll find out. 
Where's Taylor's Isle? Oop. Keep going this way. We're getting near it, I think. There it is. Oop. There we go. Cutscene. Black Pirate Balter's ship. The Blackbeard 2. Oh boy. Air Pirate. Captain Baltor, there's a really, really powerful looking ship coming off, way off port side. It's the ship that everyone's talking about, the Delphinus, the one that the Blue Rogue Vice commands. This guy again. We fought this guy once, I think, already. <laughs> so, Vice, we meet again. This guy is silly. I mean, come on. He's gonna, he's not gonna be able to defeat us. This time I have a little something special for you. All right, men, on the pride of the Black Pirates, kill them all! Oh boy, guys. Oh boy. Ah. Vice, Black Pirates, dead head. Wait, hey, it's that Balter? Is that Balter's ship? <sighs> Looks like they've done a little work on their own ship as well. Let's go test out their new defenses for them. Oh boy. They're not gonna be able to defeat us. We got like a crazy powerful metal battleship, right? I mean, what are they? I mean, we just came from a uh, deep sky. Well, what do these guys think they're gonna be able to do to defeat us here? Oh, they got a lot of cannons. Yeah! <laughs> How do you like the power of the new and improved Blackbeard? This ship is equipped with nothing but the best stuff that stolen money can buy. It's the ultimate Black Pirate ship. Oh boy. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm really not worried. Man, I wish I could have bought more primary cannons before we did this. Oh, that's okay. Um, well, I'm gonna do like I did earlier. Let's do Yurla so we can max out all of our spirit points at the beginning of the battle. I'm not too worried. I don't think this guy's gonna be able to do much damage. So, uh, we'll just wait for the next turn here. And then we can hit him with, like, everything. There we go. Max out our spirit points. Yurla is so awesome. We got her from uh, Yafutama. Vega Cannon. Okay, did like two, 2,000 points of damage. Not that bad. I mean, we've been fighting like crazy stingrays in the deep sky. We just fought the Chameleon again with Deloco. Uh, Value and Admiral. I mean, I don't know what this guy thinks he's going to be able to do. I mean, he's... Death by a thousand cuts. I mean, he's 2,000 more points of damage. I don't know if he has magic cannons. I've seen black pirates use magic cannons before. I don't know if we have a chance to do the moonstone cannon anytime soon. Eh, we're gonna, we're, he's hitting us pretty good, though. I mean, we're gonna have to do a deluxe kit. Plus 8,000 HP here. All right, so now it's our turn. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of Moonstone Cannon coming up. I think Moonstone Cannon costs 20 points. Uh, so we got plenty to go with here. Uh, I'll do this. Actually, you know what? I want this to hit. No, you know what I want to do, actually? I'm going to have this hit on the critical hit chance. And then I'm going to have uh, Ika give us um, Incrim so we can increase our attack and defense by... 25% for two turns. I'll have that here on the yellow turn. I'm not too worried about this guy hurting us. Um, and then we'll have Ika. Man, am I really going to need to heal, guys? I guess I will. Let's put the healing at the end. And then Enrique will do this cannon here. And we'll just do that across all that. And we still have enough for the uh, Moonstone cannon. All right, there we go. So we got the, the stat boost. And he's not even uh, trying to evade at all. This guy's like going full offense on us. We're down to about 70% health. Not too worried though, really. You gotta worry when they have multiple attacks at once though. Like they got torpedoes hitting you, secondary and primary hand cannons all hitting you at once. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, he's got like, oh yeah, he's not gonna stay. <laughs> he's already down to like 75%, which is a secondary cannon. I think that was a secondary cannon. Unless it was a primary. Oh boy, we're down to 50% health. Yikes, he did 7,000 points of damage. That was worse than I thought. There we go, we killed him. <laughs> oh wow, he didn't stay a chance. I'm gonna need to heal the Delphinus after this though. 
I wasn't too worried about the black pirates, though. They were scary earlier in the game. I'm more worried about, uh, like, if Value is going to come and try fighting us. Uh, we got Timing Valve, Sephirical Figure. What is that? Let's take a look at that. And Hybrid Wax. Okay. <laughs> that might be the end of the Black Pirates. I don't know if we're going to see the Black Pirates anymore. Curse you, Vice! How could you defeat me again? Next time we meet, I will we'll defeat you. You will rue the day that you crossed Baltor. <laughs> He's just kind of a joke. Good job, Vice. He's just kind of a joke now at this point. Seriously, that fool doesn't know when to give up, but at least he's not a quitter. I did actually get game over once fighting Black Pirates earlier in the game. Now, only do, uh, not only do you have the Armada chasing you, Vice, the Black Pirates are after you as well. You're quite popular. <laughs> this isn't the kind of popularity I need. Well, I'm glad my last battle on the Delphinus was a victorious one. Enrique? <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, Sailor's Island should be coming up soon. Vice, let's go. Alright. He's leaving us, guys. Ugh. Oh, Enrique's leaving us. It's okay. Story of my life. Alright, let's look around here. I think it's... Is that it? That's the Sailor's Isle there. Wait a minute, before I go there, let me go ahead and heal up. Now, I, now at this point in the game... You know, this would be a point where I'd like unequip everything from him because I don't want him to take it and then I'd sell it. But I think he just, I think they automatic, the game automatically unequips everything. Actually, we're probably going to sleep at an inn. So I don't really need to do this, but that's okay. I have so many Deluxe Kits, guys. I'm not worried. All right, let's get out of that. Oh yeah, we, we did pick up some item. I don't know if it's going to be useful for, whoop, for the Delphinus. It, let's see, what do we got here, guys? We got a spherical figure. Oh, wow. Increases magic defense. It's even better than the goddess figure. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. The goddess figure is 230 magic defense worse than the spherical figure. Now, I could equip... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's try this. Put the spherical figure here, and then I'll put the goddess figure on the instead of the blueheim figure. Because they're both magic defense. I want to keep the compound deck because it's uh, physical defense. There we go. So we have a lot of magic defense now. And a little bit of um, physical defense. All right, cool. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so let's drop down, I guess. All right. Go to... Uh... Okay, we're going to do one random enemy encounter before Sailor's Isle. That's all right. That's all right, guys. I'm probably going to drop off of the stream here, guys. It's pretty late where I am. Um, oh, we ambushed him. Uh, you can check me out here every Fantasy Friday. This I play fantasy uh, role-playing games on Fridays. Uh, you know what? Let's do regular attack. He's a uh, purple, actually. Actually, we need to change our weapon to something else, right? Like fire? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, because if he's purple, fire magic does does a lot of damage against... Uh, left her defend. Oops. And have him do uh, fire. There we go. I think we'll probably kill this guy in one hit, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. That was pretty easy. Yay! Oh, there's another guy. I didn't even see there was another dude. Okay, there, he's dead now. All right, that's all right. We're going to get, like, no experience and money, but that's okay. These guys are so easy. Anyways, guys, I'm way back. I, I play retro and indie games every weekday. You can check me out uh, for Platformer Monday on Monday. I also uh, have a Discord. You can check me out at Discord at waybackguy.com to find out when I do go live. I post on there a notification every time I do go live. Of course, follow me on Twitch to get to find out when I do go live or subscribe on YouTube. You click the bell, all notifications to find out when I go live. Anyways, guys, this has been Skies of Arcadia. I'll be back here next Friday playing more Skies of Arcadia. We'll find out. I mean, I guess Enrique's leaving us, but hey, that's okay. We'll, 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 we'll make do, I'm sure. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, I think I see a black pirate. Is that a black pirate ship floating around out there in the, in the distance? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Anyways, see you next time.